Okay. <clears throat> oh, ha. God, I had I had a little bit of phlegm in the back of my throat. I hope that sounded good for everybody listening. I hope it got thrown really all around to, inside the microphone and it just sounded as terrible as it tasted. Oh, anyways, looks like we currently have about 158 u- yeah, users, viewers. That's the word I wanted. 158 viewers, unless YouTube is lying to me, which it might be. What is chat saying? Uh, Nebo said, I'm all shit-faced and ready to rip. Fuck yeah, good shit. Sounds like a good time. Uh, Primus is asking if Cobes found Puff. No. Uh, no, Puff is actually uh, in the ground. Apparently Puff burrowed into the ground and will be back at the end of the winter time. Uh, some drunk said, uh, like, DSP kind of phlegm? Uh, maybe? I, I don't know. I've never had DSP's phlegm in my mouth or throat, but when that day possibly happens, I'll be sure to, to compare it and let you know. Uh, what else? I see more Rip Puff, F in the chat for Puff. Yeah, can we get some Puff emojis and uh, Rip Puffs in the chat for, you know, the dead bearded dragon? Um, Let's see, real the real Ray Charles. Holy shit, the actual, real, true, and honest Ray Charles said that Stuttering John is a lol cow. I, I heard people describe Stuttering John as a lol cow. I haven't seen anything from him in recent years, but you've piqued my interest. I've heard that he's living in, like, a roach infested apartment or something. So, I might have to look into that. I like looking into disasters, and it, it'll tickle my little bit of autism for the Stern Show. But I digress. I see that you guys were enjoying the music I was using before. Should I play some more of the music, that, that same song, or should I move to something else before we start? Ooh, I feel that phlegm coming back. Tell you what, if... if Asterisk told me to stop. Well, so if I, uh, if I have too much mucus, I'm just going to honk it onto the microphone, and may, we might be able to hear Asterisk puke this time. They said something else? You guys want something else? Oh, the same song? Same song. I see more sames. Warrior soundtrack. Okay, you guys want more of it? That's what you're gonna get. Give me just a second. Cool wind whenever No matter 
matter Any weather We're together Okay, well, it's more or less time for me to stop this music and get the other music queued up, so give me just a moment here, and uh, there we go, I have gotten it. So anyways, I guess I'm going to go ahead, and you guessed it, I'm going to flip that switch. Okay, Asterisk, your mic is on, intro is disabled, I think everything is good to go. Asterisk, can you do the thing? Can you say something for me? Hi, hello. Uh, oh. Ooh, happy Saturday. Oh, uh, uh, fuck yeah, you. Yeah, actually. Uh, <laughs> go fuck yourself. <laughs> hold on, I just looked at chat for a split second and Shade Milkman said, quote, I fucked a cop. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, receiving or, or pitching? Who oh. fucked who? I need to know. Actually, don't tell me. that. That'd be really gross. Yeah. Ew. Yuck. Yuck. That and uh, N076 says, I found a channel that makes puppets of lol cows and parodies their vids. It's called uh, Dark Side Jane. Yes, we've yeah, seen it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I don't think we've looked at it on the uh, on stream, but we have seen it off, off stream. So we might look at that at some point. <laughs> Sorry. What? I saw Herman in the chat booing me. <laughs> oh, well, everybody should boo. Can we get a bunch of boos in chat for Asterisk? No. Oh, he, he fucked the cop. Okay. Oh, so see, speaking of fucking cops, Asterisk, how was your day? <laughs> I guess uh, not much can really add up to that, Rogue. Um, mm. um, uh, work, um, grocery shops like a, like a woman, uh, came home, did the dishes like a woman, and now I'm here. That is fantastic, Asterisk. And mm -hmm. you know what that has to do with what we're doing tonight? Reaffirming gender roles? Nothing! Not a fucking <laughs> thing, but that is cool. <laughs> Whatever it takes to make women stay in fucking line, you stupid cunts. <laughs> I can say that without laughing. Because as we funny. know, anybody who watches my content is under my control, and all of my viewers, including myself and Asterisk, hate women. I hate them. It's true. Yeah, women, women suck. <laughs> but you know what else also sucks, Asterisk? Um, what? Vacuums. But I do have something cool we can look at here. Uh, we have the art goal from the... That won the... Uh, well, the poll Smoky on the Smoky Stream. stream. Yeah. Yes. Give yes, me yes, just yes, a second yes. so I can stream it to you, and then I'll bring it up for our viewers. You can talk about it a bit, and then we will start looking at interesting people. I wasn't late this time with it, too. I'm very proud of myself. You did very good, Asterisk. Thank you. I do, too. Oh, uh, here we go. So you see it? <laughs> yes. Awesome. Uh, give me just a second, and they'll see it as well. And they see it. Okay, here we go. So the, prompt, the prompt was, like, uh, what? Um, popsicle under Sanchu car found by Radcast and Smokey. Yeah. Um, I thought it'd be really funny if if our darling boy um, Puff himself took us to his uh, frozen corpse. So. <laughs> uh, I like how he's missing his tail. He is missing his tail in both iterations, Rogue. Um, you know, like like Civil War soldier ghosts who are a bit like missing their legs and shit, mm -hmm. you know, like shit like that. You know, he's he's seen a lot. Yeah. Um, very cold. I can only assume that somebody sold this. Uh, fortunate uh what uh, 2002 dodge caravan something uh, like that i don't know shit right right up to wyoming it froze over and he is and unfortunately we had him and uh i had the pleasure of trying to chip him out of there so oh, there you go <laughs> the Very chat fun. wants Smokey to drop the car on top of you i think <laughs> everybody wants that that would be cool <laughs> i don't think we're gonna get that unfortunately not this time oh my god somebody Just vandalized the vehicle spot. Huh. They definitely did. Why would they do that? <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, um, religious uh, sort of uh, idol idolatry and all that, you know, whatever. The Something but beats the fuck out of me. Very good. I think my favorite uh, touch to this rogue is you off puff a, um, oh, yeah. a light. <laughs> a little light. Got the cigarette in the mouth and everything, just like how I always do it. Exactly. Keep your face exactly. nice, concealed, and warm. Hmm. <laughs> But very, very fun. I, I I had a good time with this. Oh, well, yeah. So I hope the audience enjoyed this. Uh, those of you that are on Patreon, you will get this, uh, if not tonight, tomorrow. I promise. Oh, yes. Very good. 
Yeah, yeah. Trickstar says I'm supervising. <laughs> exactly. That's actually how I do everything. I tell other people to do it. And that's how I do it. There is also a cigarette in the ice. I, I had to stay consistent with Oh, yeah, that's right. You always have... Because Puff's already got the little smoke. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Sometimes it's it's a six. Sometimes it's it's a doobie. It, it really depends, you know? I feel so bad for his tail. It's just it's just gone. There's... <laughs> it's really Damn. funny. Man, Smokey's going to have like a hernia. I know, poor His guy. entire He's... asshole's going to come out of his ass. He's really struggling over there. Is he going to be okay? Now, right now, I guarantee you, somebody's seen the fact that we had Smokey in an art goal, and they are pissed. Someone is <laughs> fucking livid right now. <laughs> God, they're going to be pissed, they're going to be talking about it, and they're going to fucking be mad. Love oh it. Oh my goodness. But oh. anyways, we need to get on to positive topics. And by positive topics, I mean we need to laugh at people on the internet who overshare and possibly take the internet or real life way too fucking seriously. Mm, I so see, who I see. could we start with? Of course, there, there is Chris we can look at, but I mean, Chris sucks anymore, man. He's not funny. Mm -mm. Uh, it hasn't been very exciting lately, no, too, you know? No, uh... There's Cobes, of course, but we can look at him in a bit. Yeah, uh, yeah, we do yeah, yeah. have John Law, which I looked at on a stream by myself, and I would like to get your input, Astrid, because this guy's fucking crazy. Okay, okay. I'd be glad to. Okay. Um, let me pull up the blurb for this guy. So if anybody hadn't seen the, off the, the last Off the Cuff I did, uh, this will give you a little bit of a skinny story on him. Let me see here. John Law is a bla- <clears throat> I'm sorry. John Law is still blabbering online about a bunch of impossible, stupid shit that he's convinced himself is actually happening. While many people are not big fans of law enforcement, for understandable reasons, you have crazies like John who take their dislike of the boys in blue to a whole new level, postulating improbable conspiracies involving the LAPD dressing up as homeless people, doing drugs, and shitting up the subway trains. Why they do it to the subway trains? Who knows? While the L L sorry, while the LAPD are undoubtedly up to some kind of nefarious shit, they are a government entity after all. There's a pretty good chance that they're not all smoking meth. Given that it's a southern uh, sorry, given that it is in Southern California, it's safe to assume that some of the cops are smoking crack, not meth. If not crack, then likely just good old-fashioned cocaine. But I just I'm assuming here. I've known enough mm -hmm. cops to know that a majority of them have drug problems, but I've yet to meet one that smokes meth. I think. <laughs> I'm sure they're out there. <laughs> so this guy just sees homeless people in the subway and then automatically assumes that they're they're feds. They're undercover cops trying to entrap people into drug crimes or some stupid shit. Okay, and I okay. think he's telling the truth, Asterix. He's not crazy at all. I mean, I, I really am going in blind here because I, I, I was there to, like, uh, moderate the chat but i wasn't there to listen or interact or have fun at all so right I, I i really have no clue what the fuck i'm uh plunging headfirst into Rogue. so i'm gonna pull a few of these videos up and then we will look at them here so tv screen is now on let's take a little peek you see them yes oh my awesome. god so it says uh cop fumbles his lines on the subway so let's see how this cop does undercover cop forgets his script you got your what the fuck are you smoking yeah. out here dude I'm out here to Hi, my name is Matt Morales, and I'm a fucking smoker. Now, oh. I've seen a fair share of cops in my time, Asterix, and that looks like a cop if I've ever seen one. Oh, a um, thousand million fucking yeah, percent. Yeah, that is a law-abiding, wife-beating, minority-oppressing cop. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Moralist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, funny. he's one of Let's those fucking asshole PD motherfuckers. <laughs> Ugh, pig, pig. Infected Candy said, damn, Joji fell down hard. That's mean, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, stealing from people or anything like that, or, you know, doing some fiend out of that shit. Yeah, that's a cop. But... He's not tweaking. There's no possible, any uh, possible uh, outcome where he's not high, right? No, there's no way. He's, uh, he's going through his, uh, his, his library. Hours, hours, just... Matt, you, somebody should stop him and be like, hey, man. You put your fucking life on the line for this country. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. People treat you boys wrong. And then maybe hand him a heroin needle or something, and the, the world keeps on spinning. I was going to say, he's going to leave the, this this uh, this interview, this moment, uh, and go uh, crack. So, <laughs> good for yeah, him. Yeah, I mean, this guy's obviously living his best life, and, you know, maybe when the rogue stuff's done, this is how I can live. <laughs> maybe I can be a drug-addicted cop. <laughs> Uh-huh. 
<laughs> that's fucking this guy's just a homeless tweaker and they're bullying him. Leave him the fuck oh. alone. Let him do his drugs and fumble around the subway. Oh my fucking god. So this here, uh, it's LAPD cops pretending to be homeless drug addicts on LA's metro for funding. This is about two minutes long. Let's take a peek. Oh my god. This is a video of undercolor at LAPD cops trashing our metro stations. Moments earlier, we had witnessed first responders staging a drug overdose. At the time, we didn't know why they were behaving this way in public. We would later find out that the LAPD was trying to convince the city that they needed to spend $54 million every six months to have the cops actively patrol the subway stations. To do this, the police ba began staging violent crimes and drug overdoses throughout the metro, as well as sending undercover cops to use fake drugs and act like street people in the subways of LA. Now, I've never uh -huh. been to this little corner of the world, this fucking armpit. Never but, will. Yeah, exactly, never will. I have no interest mm -hmm. in going to LA. I would have to assume a major metropolitan area with a lot of people and various income brackets, there's going to be some level of crime. The bigger the city, the more homeless you're going to have, the more crime you're going to have. And as such, these people that don't have homes, where are they going to go? The next best option, integrated shelter, buses, subway trains, places that just keep them safe from the elements, whatever they may be, or maybe the environment rather. So let's see what these cops are doing. And that, that's another weird thing. How come if he saw them staging a drug overdose, why did he not record that? That's fair. Actually, where where yeah. is it? Yeah, where is it? Why do we get to see them just throwing trash everywhere after the overdose is happening? <laughs> he can just say stuff and it, it's all true, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Is this like a group rogue? Is this like more than one person doing the, this? This or? is a guy and he's got a girlfriend who I believe her nickname is Flues, which killed me because, you know, Floozy. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, when you see her, if we get a chance to look at her, she looks like she does drugs herself. And I'm sure this guy's a tweaker, too. That's so funny. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Goodbye, text. <laughs> there Bye. we go. Finally, we can see something. So here's two cops right here. Okay. Now, this guy here, uh, he has many arrests under his belt, uh, graduated the top of his class when he was in the police mm -hmm. academy, mm -hmm. and uh, they don't let him wear pants. He also or does. shoes, Roke. Yeah, that guy's a cop. Yeah, no money, just a pipe. <laughs> yeah, dude, let's smoke. Smoke. What? Yeah, go for what it. What does he even say? Yeah, right let's now. see it. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, that guy's tweaked. You can't really understand. Where's he looking? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, he's offering him a hit. Yeah. If that, that's a cop, that's a pretty cool cop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if a cool. cop, yeah, a cop's like, hey, man, you, you want to do some illegal drugs? <laughs> Ew, like a nice Do you know where yeah. I can get some fucking coke? <laughs> hey, hey, you, you smoke. Where's this guy going? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have the pipe, but I've been smoking. Oh, well, why do you have a pipe? You don't have anything to smoke. And the guy who's talking to him sounds very with it, too. Like, mm -hmm. these, both of these guys sound like they're tweaked out of their mind. I smoke it. Ask him, you have some? I got it. Is that a cop, too? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah, he looks like he could hold somebody down and cuff him. I have them. Oh, you, you need dope, too? It's a yeah, cop. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, All right then. Yeah, yeah maybe you guys can There's his girlfriend. Each other out. Oh god. So what's what's really interesting is usually when we see these people that are convinced that like they're being stalked or the government is coming for them in, in some really stupid audacious way, usually it's just one person. Mm -hmm. But we are fortunate enough to be able to see a group or not really a group but a duo of sorts. This is a relationship built entirely off of paranoia. They must have the, the craziest weirdo sex. I, I can't even imagine. <laughs> they fuck like jackrabbits on meth. Oh, Mainly fuck. because they're on meth. So he can help you smoke. <laughs> right? They're making connections. That's beautiful. Where the fucking dog come from? Well, there's homeless people here. Or, or I'm sorry, cops. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just ask one of them. Maybe one of these other cops down here has some dope for you, yeah? 
My thing is too is that they're probably not gonna react to the stupid weird fucking shit that you say because they're tweakers and yeah. like, homeless. They don't you know they I don't mean, care. Yeah. They're they're, they're probably cops. they're probably too fucking busy being high. Yeah, or cops. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's why I just said they're cops. I know. Yeah. <laughs> they gotta get high. No, he's just a civilian that's getting harassed by the police, Asterisk. He's oh, he's cool. got a hard life. I feel mm -hmm. really bad for him. Mm -hmm. Here's another really good one that we'll move on to somebody else. This is police stalking by the DEA in Los Angeles. So not only are the police corrupt, but now the three-letter agencies who are even more evil are involved. Okay. Oh, what the okay. fuck? I just see a guy's rotted up legs. Is that Lenny? No, it no. Me, looks like Lenny, but it's by this John Law guy. Oh my god. No, here's a better shot of his girlfriend. Like, you can oh look man. at... She looks like she's she does pills or something. I'm gonna count how long her eyes are open for. Danny whore! <laughs> Make eye contact with the camera. Keep your eyes open for, like, five seconds, please. And it's like, everyone takes their dog... Yeah, see, your name's Flues. Flues. Flues, what a good name. That's not a name you pick up being a lot lizard for pills, right? Mm-mm, there's no way. So it's 51 degrees Fahrenheit out, and you got this homeless cop shirtless. Okay. So they're working the they're working the system here. They've got some stupid operation that they're going to use to oppress the populace of L.A. Mm-hmm. That guy's got Looking no like good, collarbones. Looking good, Mr. McNaughton. Looking yeah. very good. Yep. You know why he's not responding? Because, like, he's probably on drugs. <laughs> probably on drugs. And these fuckers think they've got it all figured out. They have convinced themselves that they know the truth and everybody else is wrong. But they've yeah. got to they've got to spread the news to the world. You got to love when the mentally ill are just so fucking up their own ass that they really have the audacity to pose this shit. They have no self-awareness. Mr. McNaughton! You took him out of his high. You killed his buzz, you fucking asshole. Never mind, it's 10 in the morning. Yeah, like, he's probably looking at you because, like, you're yelling at him. I, I don't, I don't get this. I don't get this fucking mindset. Uh, depressed this is upsetting and, to me. Depressed and asked if we're going to look into Jay Sonic 1997. I would like to in the future. There's just so much gross shit. I need to sit down and I need to organize it and see what I could show on YouTube or what I need to censor. Because that was a lot of semen and feces you showed me. So, I need to sift through that. Uh, Astrid, are you familiar with Jay Sonic, the guy who fucked the Sonic plush for like 20, 30 years? No. Oh, uh, well, I'll show you after stream. You know that Sonic plush I've got, the, the 93 Cal toy that I took to the theaters? Yes. Yeah, he has one of those. Really hard to get. That and he fucked uh, and he a just, lot? He ruined, yeah, he, he fucked the hell out of Sonic. He fucked the shit out of Sonic's little furry butthole. Oh my fucking God, he yeah. said Sonic is bitch. Yeah, he did. Oh, it's horrible. I'll see if there's got to be a way we can look at it on stream and have enough censorship to be okay. So we'll see. <laughs> you look good. He Stop does look good. More, uh, like Temple OS songs, you know? Oh, yeah. He's right back to it. Your skin is glowing. <laughs> you know what he thinks? He thinks that you're on drugs. Yeah, he's like, ah, <laughs> one of my constituents. Ah, yes, crackheads. Mm, we I have the same plug. Oh, okay. Remember the guy we saw? I mean, how can you forget him? The guy who was ass naked on the sidewalk and asked for a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> what I really don't understand about this guy is this guy's got to be homeless too. Because yeah. he's always on the train and he's always in a public park or something like that where homeless people congregate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Imagine because... being homeless and then just fearing all of your kind. Just not not just like the things like oh my god you know, this person might stab me or something. you know the reasonable things of people you don't know but yeah. everybody's a cop and they're gonna take yeah. you to jail scared because they're not you like they are like like not even like you in like that sense but they're not in your situation the they homeless, are 100 like against you the homeless cops only job is to throw you in jail or prison and give you a new home. I bet this guy heard about, like, cops dressing up as, like, civilians during protests, like, catch people, like, mm -hmm. you know, committing crimes, and then was like, that's everybody. <laughs> that's horrible. Traffic Cone and Chance, do you think this couple ever uh, calls each other cops when they're getting into arguments? I hope so. <laughs> they call each other cops when they're fucking. You fucking pig. 
<laughs> just making weird grunts and shooting Ram up heroin. A cab, a cab, a cab. Yeah, that'd be that'd be great. I'd pay oh to see God. that. And then his girlfriend comes up all bougie and, and just like, gives, oh, yeah, oh, and then gives her a fucking like like, like robe like right Shade away. Milkman, what the know? fuck do you mean, Jasonic put himself in a coma by? Putting rusty nails in his cock. Yeah, isn't Jay Sonic into sounding? Did he sound with rusty nails or did he hammer his penis? <laughs> like, oh, I'm gonna have a bad night. <laughs> naked. Fucking, it's so funny. But he was like stripping down. He had clothes. Like, why would a cop like, strip naked? Yeah, like why would they do this? Like th this is not just to catch the homeless or like the drug using homeless or any drug. There's use better that ways. Home. There's better ways to entrap people. Exactly. There's more efficient ways, and if the government or the police want to get you, they will get you. Yeah. Well, come on, man. Why? He really had his, like, underwear on. It was in the middle of ooh, taking ooh. them off. But he was dick out naked Just... on Lancashire Boulevard. <laughs> Just... I don't even... What word am I fucking looking for? What does a dick do? Uh oh to have a microphone and pick these people's brains. Oh my fucking god! I'm sure they think they they think that we are. Uh, uh, can you call it uh, cops? <laughs> yeah, I'm like ah, rogue, you're a cop. Like, mm -hmm. um, well, that's funny. <laughs> no, not this <laughs> we'll time. Dress the characters up. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll get ourselves little badges and shit. But that was John mm -hmm. Law, just a very very simple schizo channel. But mm -hmm. ski speaking of schizophrenics, <laughs> we can look at one of our favorites. We have Daniel Larson. So let me see what this blurb says right here. <clears throat> Uh, Daniel Larson. He has yet to get his haircut fixed. His recent history has been about as well as you would expect. He's had difficulties with his preferred payment processor, PayPal, and he's been experiencing some turbulence in his controversial relationship with the great Grace Vanderwall. The last few weeks have been, uh, featured plenty of Dave & Buster's visits, which apparently is a hot spot for homeless pedophiles, but that is pretty much how Dave & Buster's has marketed itself for the last decade or so. Uh, he's still eating uh, relatively pricey food that most people aren't fortunate enough to actually have easy access to. Still photographing it and recording children, and likely still manhandling his meat stick in the bathroom of the aforementioned Dave & Buster's. Did I mention Dave & Buster's? They have pedophiles there, Astrid. <laughs> oh my god, do they really at Dave & Buster's? Yeah, when I was a small child, uh, Dave and Buster both raped me. <laughs> did, they, did, they, did, they, <laughs> did they Dave & Bust in you? <laughs> yeah. They kept, they, they daved in me, Astrid. They didn't so bust, sorry. they just daved. <laughs> they just daved. <laughs> Kat, can I get a one, two, three in the chat for being forcibly daved? <laughs> I'm, uh, this is me declaring my lawsuit against Dave and Busters. Hang on, trigger warning, Dave. Yeah, yeah, trigger warning, <laughs> Dave and Buster are both uh, pedophiles. <laughs> there goes Don't laugh chat. at that. Yeah, them. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me get some uh, stuff pulled up of Daniel. So, oh, fuck. Uh, Daniel apparently got banned from Dave and Buster's, or he's convinced of it. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me pull this up and a few others. That's a YouTube video. Reddit, Reddit, I don't recall, too. Like, Reddit. Huh? Do we know what happened at the, at the Dave and Buster's to, to elicit this uh, ban right here? I I mean, it's, it's Daniel. He probably I mean, got... Yeah. Do we know if he actually did get banned from a Dave and Buster's? I don't know. Probably. Oh my god. Okay, so TV <laughs> is now on. We got this right here. So let me see if I can open this image up in a new tab. Of course not. Um, it says, my name isn't Mr. Larson. Dear <laughs> Mr. Larson. Yeah, his name is not Mr. It's Daniel. I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to inform you of a decision made by the corporate office of Dave & Buster's regarding your future visits of our facilities. Regrettably, due to recent incidents, we have decided to impose a ban on your entry to any Dave & Buster's facility. The decision to implement this ban stems from two separate incidents that occurred during your past visits to our Dave & Buster, or, I'm sorry, Denver and Westminster, uh, <laughs> facilities. I, I was like, oh, to our Dave & Buster's, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dave no, & Buster's, Dave & Buster's. Yeah. Firstly, we received reports that you walked out on your bill without settling the outstanding balance during your previous visit to our Denver facility. Such behavior not only violates our policies, but also places an undue burden on our staff and operations. Additionally, it has come to our attention that you made our staff and other guests uncomfortable by opening, openly recording them within our Westminster facility without their consent. Our commitment to providing a safe and enjoyable environment for all of our patrons is of, most, of, is of utmost importance. Man, I cannot talk tonight. 
which includes respecting the privacy and comfort of our guests and employees. Please be aware that any attempt to enter any Dave and Buster's, they said it again, asterisk, establishment oh God, in the oh future God. will be considered <laughs> trespassing, and we reserve the right to contact law enforcement if necessary. We kindly request that you respect this decision and refrain from any further attempts to visit our facilities. If you wish to communicate regarding this man, you may submit a written response by mail to the following address, blah, 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 blah. We will ensure that your response is reviewed and considered appropriately. And we regret this situation. We regret that this situation has led us to take such measures as we value all of our guests and strive to provide a positive experience for everyone. We hope that you understand the reasons behind this decision and respect our commitment to maintaining a safe and welcoming environment for all. Do you think that's real, Asterix? No. Oh, shit. God, God <laughs> damn it. On a Rex Ward chat said Dave and Busted. They got his ass. Dave and motherfucking lol. Busted. Lol. I just, I don't know. I mean, this... I don't know. You know, something about it feels a little bit fishy, especially with how much like people fuck with him anyways. You know what I mean? Oh, I, I pinned the wrong comment. You're silly. But I mean, it's not like there's anything to lose. It's, it's yeah, I pinned something totally that's unrelated. A good name. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. God damn it. But it's not like he's losing anything of value. Dave and Buster's is pretty ass. All things yeah. considered. And he probably doesn't have the money to afford it. However... Uh, Grace has decided to countersue on uh, Daniel's behalf. So it says here on the 24th of November, 2023, subject, notice of intention to sue for unjust ejection. Dear Dave and Busters, they said it! They said it again, Asterix! Corporate <laughs> office. I'm writing to express my deep, nah, deep dissatisfaction with the recent incident that occurred at your establishment located at blah, blah, blah. My name is Grace Vanderwall, and I am the girlfriend of Daniel Larson, who was oh, unfairly I ejected from your restaurant. On the aforementioned date, Mr. Larson was asked to leave the premises without apparent cause or justification. This action not only tarnished his experience, but also raises concerns about the policies and practices followed by Dave and Buster's. Such unjust treatments not only violates the basic principles of customer service, but also prompts serious legal considerations. As a result, I am hereby serving you with this notice of intention to sue on behalf of Mr. Larson unless a resolution is reached promptly. We are open to resolving this matter amicably, and I kindly request that you conduct a thorough investigation of this into this incident. If a satisfactory resolution is not achieved within 14 days from the date of this notice, we will be compelled to pursue legal action to seek, uh, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, to seek redress for the unjust, fuck me, for the unjust treatment experienced by Mr. Larson. So, Astrid, this is really heating up. We oh, might yeah, see, we're going to see a legal battle from hell. Grace is going to be defending our, our fucking singer-songwriter. Mm -hmm. You go, girl. <laughs> it's about time that Daniel gets a win. That's my it's man. It's about time that Grace does something for, yeah, for fuck her. Fuck yeah, so exactly. Kind of boo -boo, you know? Yeah, she never takes care of him, and it's about time that she shows him the love that he fucking deserves. Exactly. So this next video is, I think he's at a Denny's or an IHOP, and mm -hmm. he, he got kicked out, put it simply. Oh, and uh, he's having a bad day. That's not my problem. And I don't have to clean this up here because that is your job because you work here. I don't work here, so it's not my job to pick this up. Hmm. And he it's threw trash out. To pick that up. He, yeah, he did that. That, yeah, that he whole past fucking head. Yeah, he just Fuck threw that cup. Ooh. It's not my Props job. Props to her to for keeping her fucking cool. I mean, she has to. I know, but you, you've you seen plenty of videos where people freak the fuck out after shit like that. Like that yeah. level of fucking disrespect. Good he's, fucking He's job. a nice guy. Ooh, they were I treating him wrong, Asterix. Mm -hmm. They were treating mm -hmm. him so wrong. So what if he's a pedophile? He's he's <laughs> a person. He's got, he's got feelings. So what if he doesn't pay his bill? He's got feelings, Asterix. Motherfucker. His poor Fifi's. So this one here is a um, post on TikTok a few minutes ago. Audio cut out from the majority of the vid. Birdman escaped the authorities once again. This was 22 days ago. This was after him leaving after the Panera incident, right? I believe so, yeah. Oh, so that's not relevant enough. That's old. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's uh, this so says, old. what do you know? Daniel's video about grievance with the restaurant server is mostly him filming a family with a young child. So this is what led to his ban. From Dave and Buster's, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So maybe the ban is real. Look I mean, at, they, they had the to have camera. given them. I mean, how would he have gotten the paper if it wasn't real? Oh my God! What the fuck is that in the bottom right? Bottom right, Robert Redford is almost ninety. Well, he Jesus fucking looks fucking it. Christ. He looks two hundred and nine. Oh my God, Robert! 
Robert, this is Sarah looks bad. V, bitch. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, filming a family is yeah, is it, not it, okay. It pans and it stays, you know. Yeah, like it's not good. I don't know why he's recording it. It's just the way I am really treated as a celebrity. It's their fault, right? This family exactly. that just wanted to spend time together with their their child is at fault. Oh, fuck you man. sick, nasty motherfucker. I'm about to go up to the flipping bar. You saying? He's a uh, come on. I'm about, about to, to go, go up, up to the flipping, flipping bar. bar. Well, yeah. at least he's censoring himself around the child he's recording. He's got yeah, some self control. Shithead. Cocksucker. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's just really fucking creepy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like, I, I don't know. If I saw if I had a kid and I saw somebody recording him like that, I'd probably take their phone and smash it over their fucking head. I can't you say know, like I'd, Eventually, somebody's got to fucking bring a problem to him for always having his phone out. Somebody's eventually going to get tired of the creepy shit. I'm sure they already have, and of course, that's not recorded. God you know? damn it. It needs to fucking yeah. be caught on video. We Eventually, someday, we're going to get the Daniel Larson jumping video. Mm. Someday. I'm hoping. That's such a good fucking day. But besides that, I mean, Daniel hasn't been super active. It's mostly just been like his uh, management, quote unquote. Uh, yeah. He's doing and saying stupid shit. His community wall has been about the most uh, active part of his online presence. Yeah. But uh, other than that, we do have a, an older video where he's smacking um, himself in the head. You also have the miscellaneous, the second video, the Dorito sponsor commercial. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Give you a second. Yes, 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 yes. We're yes. second video Dorito sponsor. Yes, there sir. it is. Yeah, this one's pretty good, and uh, we got to look at this smacking video first. So TV is now on. This one's an old one, but who doesn't like a good video of a pedophile smashing their fucking face into their own fist? It's like it's like watching videos of puppies and kittens. You yeah, know? it's cathartic. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, ooh. This is what he could be doing. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, instead of harassing children, he could just be hitting himself in the head. That would be a good exactly. use of his time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I don't know. I, I always take a little bit of joy from that one. And uh, the next one we got here is breaking Daniel Larson's new Dorito commercial. And as we know, I love Doritos, so this was right up my alley. Another great example of what he could be doing at this time. I love that that imprint in that wall looked just like Daniel. Yeah, because it was his head. <laughs> was, See, there's his nose. His nose. <laughs> there's his teeth. There's his crying eyeballs. <laughs> Oh my god. Look at this fucking room. Well, oh, there's a Doritos. Nice. I mean, holy That's shit. Imagine good. being the homeowner and you come home and there's not just one hole in the wall, but there's drywall everywhere. There's Ooh. shit ripped out of the wall. Ooh. He'd be dragged out by the nape of his neck. You know? uh, why couldn't oh. he grab like one of the live wires in the wall? <laughs> like, why couldn't god he grab it. his head and put it in the wall? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Huh. Maybe, you know, I think this would probably convince me to never, like, have a rental property or anything. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. imagine imagine you, you try to collect rent, and the person doesn't want to pay or they don't have the money. There's a bit of an argument, and then this is how you find your place after. But at least you got the Doritos. Yeah, <laughs> crunch. You can tell the Doritos had recently been opened since he had been hitting shit because it's standing straight up around all the impacts. That thing probably would have gotten knocked down. <laughs> Had like a, like a, like a Dorito force field, some goodness. It must be really hard for him to eat chips. I mean, everything's got to be hard for him to eat with the, the lack of teeth, but chips must be a fucking chore. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure he's got plenty of molars missing uh, many of his other teeth. Yeah. I mean, he's got some in the back, but it's just inconsistent chewing. You got a little bit mm -hmm. on the right, a little bit on the left, and a tiny bit on the front. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. who really fucking knows? But Daniel, like we said, has not been incredibly active as of late. At least nothing super interesting. But yeah. there's that. Uh, well, there that? was, uh, I mean, we can probably just talk about it. Like, um, people are sending him like, oh, uh, you're going to go, you're going to go on tour, you know, here's your tour bus. Yeah, he with... said he's going to Hollywood recently. Yeah, he's going to go to Hollywood. He's going to tour in 2024 with Simon Cowell and Taylor Swift, and they're all going to fuck in the back, you know. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Who could forget the Simon Cowell thing? But I got to stop you. Santa Claus, the true and honest Santa is in chat. He said, hello, trolls and rogue. Hello. I oh trust you're going to be giving me gifts this year. If you don't, well, uh, I'm going to be executing one elf every day until Christmas. So either way, you're going to be losing some of your worker bees, but you'll lose less if you bring me toys. Santa, am I on the nice list? No. Please you're don't a goat. Lie. Goats don't Fuck get you. to celebrate Christmas. <laughs> Goats get Christmas, rogue. No, they don't. <laughs> Fuck you. You don't get Christmas. Ah, uh, why? Because of my, my Jewish background? 
You fucking anti-Semite. Yeah. Go go light your menorah. You cocksucker, you. I'm going to go spin my tops. <laughs> this is such bullshit. <laughs> but no, he, he's convinced that he's going to be going to Hollywood, and maybe he will. Maybe we'll get a new vacation arc, because that's possibly the only way he's going to survive this winter unless somebody takes him in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Asterisk, you should move out to Denver and take him in. No. Why not? Because I don't want to. That's not fun, Asterisk. You're bored. I, I know, but like, I mean, fun what, person. Like, what the hell could I do to fucking Daniel? Like, first of all, like, his management will kiss him. fuck over. They're probably like, I'm not going to kiss Daniel, but they're going to like execute me or something. Like, the, like, come on. Yeah. You know? Oh, they're there gonna you send go. Hitman after me and have me um, strung up uh, by my toes. It's not like anything of value would be lost. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, I'm sorry. Astrid, I'm sending you videos. It's not time yet to look at them, but, okay. you know. I won't vanish, I promise. Why don't you move out to Denver and kiss on Dan? Uh, because I don't kiss pedophiles, Astrid. Oh, okay, okay. But, 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 oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I'm not Grace Vanderwall, Astrid. <laughs> I'm not an Derek. underage girl. Grace, <laughs> I'm Grace. Fucking Daniel's not going to kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't think he would. Maybe if I wear I mean, a pretty we can, enough wig, maybe I'll be we can, convincing. We, we can get you in, in like some pigtails and a nice skirt and some little makeup on you. We, we can make you look nice. I'll charm him. I'll be all <laughs> nice and pretty for him. I'll take one for the team and save all the children of the world. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. So what's another person we could look at here? Uh, we could look at this Paul guy. Sure, I love Paul. <laughs> okay, so I'm not too familiar with him, but we do have a blurb here that is mostly stolen. So let's see it's what we not. got here. Jesus. Uh, Paul4608. Immortalized in some reddits and steam groups, Paul Foster slash Paul4608 prides himself in his culinary escapades and expression of die-cast cars and eggs exploded in the microwave made to look like Margaret Thatcher. When he isn't pretending to dump Thatcher's ashes into the toilet, being the only funeral he and many Brits feels he deserves, Paul also explores, <laughs> explores art in his many episodic series including Captain Bob and Worthington Snot MP. Described by one admirer as having the aesthetic of a snuff film and described by someone who has never actually been, uh, or I'm sorry, dreamed by, dreamed up by somebody who has never actually eaten food before. Paul continues to reign as king of his many followers and certainly lives up to the greatest chef of the English palate. So you're telling me he's better than Gordon Ramsay? I think a million times oh, better, shit. Oh, shit. Mm -mm -mm. So which one should we start with here? Hmm. I think deluxe pizza is, is it's the first one there, so I'm okay. Obviously, <laughs> is he serious about his cooking? Does he actually eat these things? I don't know. Well, we're gonna um, find out then. He seems like a little bit of a jokester at times, but mm -hmm. mm, you know. Well, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna boost the audio for our viewers. I see somebody in chat asking about Tony Chase soon. I promise, very soon. I need mm -hmm. to pull up some videos. Maybe next week. So TV screen is on. Brain said he wants to come on soon. We might save Tony for then because I know Brains enjoys Tony. Okay. So let's say here. Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pizza with a difference. What I've done pizza is with a difference. I put some I Anime Game 16 says, "Are you familiar with Boss Man Jack?" No, I have no idea who that is, but I'm intrigued now. You said he rages like wings and and begging of DSP. That sounds like a great combination. I'm sure he's the best streamer out there. In oven for two hours. That's been cooking for two hours in oven. Holy fuck. And nice. We're making a pizza and it's a special pizza. What kind of meat is that? That's some kind of beef. Maybe it's a, a shoulder? It looks maybe? like or it's a round? It looks dehydrated. It looks like it came off of a zombie, right? It's a flour pastry mix. I'll I'm scared of the world that Paul lives in. Yeah, carve it like a turkey, buddy. I mean, it, it works. It well, it's still Jesus red hot fuck. our oven. He should get a chainsaw for so it. So we don't use yeah. a cooked shell method. That doesn't really look like a pizza, though, Astrid. No, 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 no. You're, like you're getting ahead of yourself. No, like, there's no way that's actually a pizza. You're getting ahead of yourself. Oh. You just go to bed, but don't, don't go too far. Cut your pizza. Uh, Namey McNameface said maybe it's Cut lamb. Or your beef Maybe it's goat. Maybe. Mm. Uh oh. And then you put it into a blender. Oh. Why couldn't you just put the whole thing in there? 
I, I can't imagine just cutting it into somewhat smaller, large masses will make much of a difference. That's a lot of food. Yeah, that's just a, a lot of meat. He just wants the essence of beef. I see. Beef this is this, this, this is how things, things work. Broke. Those are just chunks of human. Oh my god. This was a child Are that we? got into his yard. <laughs> Little Polly. <laughs> yeah. The ball landed in this guy's yard and that kid was never seen again. Oh my god. He was cooked with his ball. <laughs> Jesus fucking... So you put him you in a little bit too. Like Skip a little bit ahead, okay. Yeah, just a bit, just a bit. Oh, he blended it. So he <laughs> yes. made cat food. No, you see, 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 again, you're, you're getting ahead of yourself. <laughs> oh. Oh. But Asterisk, that's still not pizza. You're correct. This is not pizza yet. Oh. So after mm -hmm, we finished mm -hmm, real mm -hmm. dodgy camera work, that's got it all out. How could he said it's goat ass? It's not. Yeah, that's ground up goat asshole. That's so fucking gross. How did it get drier by being blended? <laughs> I feel like, shouldn't that bring the moisture out or something? You've got me, buddy. You've got me. And flour, because it wasn't dry enough. Of course. Find the wet spot. So <laughs> there you go. Oh, fantastic. Flour on. I had a bit of Paul on for the, the cow cooking, but we didn't seem to get to it. And no. I doubt Pro would have been very receptive to this. No, Pro would have just fucking meandered like oh. he did last time. It talked and talked and talked and talked and talked and talked. Uh huh. You're me flat. I'm glad yeah. the chat was was jumping in on that shit because Bro didn't know what to say when he said, "You're not gonna do it. You're not gonna fucking do it, Bro. You're a fucking lying pussy. You're not gonna do it." And what do you know? I was right. This is gonna be. I saw one of our viewers wanted me to tell him that they were crying uncontrollably, waiting for the stream, and I passed it along, and he said, "Okay." So <laughs> you know. This for your pizza. Then One day is going to stream out of like spite for the things that you say, and it's going to be um, quite an adventure. Oh, Astrid, he's making gravy. And mix it into mm. a sort of a dough ball. Maybe. You're getting the somewhere, Rogue. Oh. A couple more guesses. Why not? Oh my god. I'm going to go back to cat food. Okay. Spend a few minutes doing this. And you want to do this straight away. That flour is going to be so lumpy. Preston, when what the fuck are you when talking about? Well, what do you say? He said, how does it feel that at least one person fucked a goat and pretended it's you? Is... What? I hope so. Oh my god. That'd be funny. Do we have proof? Yeah, do we? <laughs> yeah, do we Do we have like a testimony where somebody on the internet just said, yeah, I fucked a goat and I saw this, this, this side I person on this, this red mommy. soda kettle. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> you know? The co-host of this tiny show on the internet made my penis feel weird. He talks real nice and makes me want to come a lot. Yeah, he's talking about me. <laughs> Ew. The chat gets it. That was depressing. He confessed <laughs> no. to it. Jesus fucking... Oh, man. It's becoming like boogers, and that's kind of making me shiver. What, you don't like just meat no, and flour like boogers? boogers? No, I don't like any kind it's of boogers. It's normally a roll pastry and um, stuff like this out pastry. Oh, pastry, oh, is it? looks like stuffing that someone shit out. <laughs> out oh, yeah, just add more flour. Looks like mess, stuffed. Yeah. Just make a <laughs> mass of shit. Well. Fuck, I am so funny tonight. Foldy flowering. Yeah, no, well, Mollusk was... said uh, that we need to sh never, actually never show this to Cobes. I disagree. Maybe Cobes could take some fucking influence here because he does have a uh, British blood, right? Yeah, exactly. He's yeah. Like, related to like the Queen of England and uh, and, uh, whatever Chris is related to too. Bro. Mary Queen of Scots, you know. <laughs> Looks like actual shit. Yeah. Like he's looking at this, he's like, "Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be." He's the getting the double spoon. Yo. Oh man, that's that how you know he's a pro. Don't tell. So is he like? <laughs> is he sticking his uh, dirty spoon into the flour and scooping it out? I think so, and I think oh. he lives alone. So. You know. I I wonder why. Who knows what else is in there? Rogue. I mean, if this man if this man had a wife, he wouldn't be making play shit. Probably had a wife, but that's where she is now. 
Yeah, right there. that's his wife right there on the meat. <laughs> Dolores? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Just flatten it out with a spoon and work it into edges like that. So you get your piece. Is that going to be the dough? <laughs> it's a base. Mm. That's his idea of dough, is just blended <laughs> up meat and flour and water? Meat blends really well, Rogue. Uh, according to him. What the fuck? <laughs> ew. I'm so glad you didn't watch ew, it before we started. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Oh, glad. That is fucking revolting. It really is. And this is just how he is. <laughs> Bass Ackwards. Oh, fuck. I hate well, the British. Like <laughs> Terrible Dog says, guys, is this Kay's estranged ex husband? That's who it is. This is fucking, uh, what's his name? Big Lee? This is his dad. Oh, my God. Mr. Big Lee's Lee. dad. This, <laughs> this is Bigger Holy. Lee. <laughs> this is nasty, Lee. <laughs> An animal they died to make this. They can get together and pretend that they're, uh, I don't know, ghost or whatever, you know? I'll never get over those stupid fucking shorts in my entire life. Oh, uh, with, the, with Lee. Did we look Lee, at that one on stream? I don't think we can. No, he'd probably flag it. Um, He'll freak the fuck out, yeah. If you guys are curious, Kay's son, uh, Lee, he does these live-action, like story skits things where it's him and another buddy and they put mm -hmm. on like call of duty ghosts uh fucking mask like the pre-order mask you got the 2014 shit and he's playing a character and i think it's about like a hitman or something it's all very it's like drugs cringe. And shit. Yeah, yeah drugs and it's not Legends. yeah it's it's not convincing at all but if you're if you're looking to you know make your brain hurt really fucking bad and then maybe piss it out later you could watch that it's an idea i chopped a pineapple earlier and John Bacon in the chat is asking me if I've seen Dragon Lord Frodo TV. Yes. Yes, I have. We need to look at him. I've seen a little bit of him, and he is a fucking mess, man. Huge baby. Got it. So it uh, what's well. that, Rogue? I, I, uh... What? I, I need to know. That? What, what is that? Pineapple. Yeah, right there. The... Oh, I see. As if it wasn't already shitty. He's, he's... <laughs> well, at least now there's actually one pizza element. Mm -hmm. Not, Not mm -hmm. a good one, though. Apparently, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Think up slices like that. Think up slices of pineapple. I like pineapple, but not on pizza. You, know, you need about three or four. I don't like pineapple. I know, I'm not a big fan of the texture, but it's really ripe. Ooh, ooh, that's good. Like I like pineapple flavored stuff, but yeah. I just I can't get past like yeah, the texture is off. It, it can be really tough. If you get some nice soft pineapple, it is really, mm. really great. Mm-hmm. You know it's Sam using an old pineapple for this. Oh, pineapple's a berry. Because um Does that fuck you up? Uh, what what makes it classify as a berry? It's a collection of berries. You're right, yeah, because it, it can yes. like pull apart, yes. right? Yes, yes. It's a it's it's botanically a berry. Huh. But I'm Aren't sure bananas it's berries? Like a vegetable or something. Yes. A That's... banana is a berry. I'm gonna fucking put a hole in the wall <laughs> after. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking go nuts. You got no idea. Rings there's something that's not a berry, and I think it's a strawberry, but don't call it. There's, there's all sort of a metallic on. tasting. So you want. Sadie said olives are berries. I'm about to fucking have a meltdown here. If you fucking tell it's me olives berries, are berries, yeah. I'm gonna fuck. No, they're not. Bullshit. Olives are technically berries. No, fuck yeah. you. Fuck you. When the fuck did they become berries? I've been alive for fucking decades, and I've never, ever, ever, <laughs> ever heard anybody call an <laughs> olive a berry. Well, consider, I mean, again, Who the these fuck? are all I, You, you want to come over to my house? I baked an olive pie. Fuck you. These are, fuck you. These are botanical terms, Rogue. They aren't legal terms. Fuck you. Fuck botanics. They're not motherfucking berries. Botanics. Some ignorant cocksucker scientist is like, hey, check this out. We're going to go fuck with some random cocksucker. Fuck with his is head. Berries and bananas, same thing. Is, is, okay, so what? grapes aren't fucking, are, are, aren't is berries, but olives are? Berry. Grapes are true berries. Is an olive? <laughs> hey, berry. Squabbly says the strawberry isn't actually a berry. They are... Wait, no. Olives aren't berries. They're droops or stone fruits. Who lied in chat? You're, you're getting fucking banned. Linky said that rogue olives are not berries. God damn it. They're droops, yeah. Fucking god damn it. They're related to cherries, peaches, and almonds. I was seeing fucking red, Asterisk. <laughs> Ooh, God. Heavy Did breathing. I was doing like that, that fucking Tony Soprano heavy breathing, like about to and, like, strangle somebody. Just 
<laughs> oh Taste my god. The pineapple. Cut these in half. Get that S band misinformer. <laughs> Cut these segments in half. Or, or oh. Cut these segments. Diego off. called me a berry. Damn. <laughs> it's nice and sweet. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. I don't care to see him. Oh. Oh. This can't be fucking real. This is bullshit. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> oh, I really don't think it's real. I think he just likes to do stupid shit because he's old and lonely. So much, but it's I mean, funny who's to pretend judge that it is him? real. Yeah. yeah. You've got he's like enough. Feature Man without the sucking underage penis thing. Pineapple. Yeah, exactly. And he's British. We need a, a new Feature Man, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it works out. I'm going to support this guy up until I find out he's sucking young boys' penises. Until he changed laws, you know, because he sucks so much blood. It penis. really does bug the fuck out of me. Like, what? Not not only is Feature Man a pedophile, but he was sucking little boy sticks. Like, what <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think terrible. he's back to doing his yeah. shit too. But yeah, he's him. uh he usually hides comments, only approving mm -hmm. the the positive ones and shit. But that's to be expected. I'm shocked to even try to get back to it. Mm -hmm. Originally, we're gonna. Be I am not a berry, some drunk. Some... <laughs> Rogue's a berry. <laughs> Is it just gonna have raw garlic on? Oh yeah. Oh, he hasn't even fucking peeled it. Yeah. I'll do better. Do I hope, fucking better. I hope he's gonna bake it. Mm, let me oh, eat cool. it just like that. Nice I like when videos sound low. Yeah, oh, yeah. Asterisk, this model. guy's full of shit. I know. <laughs> well, what are we looking at for then? He's not real. It's funny. It, it, it was funny giving you a little bit of a a little God bit of a bullshit. I was hoping he'd be. Great is that ginger or potato? That is. That's some kind of cheese. I think. Is it cheese? I don't know. I saw Bran. I thought like maybe he was like. Apparently still. Thought it was ginger or something. That's the rest of Dolores. Oh, that's her foot. <laughs> that's what that is. It's meat. See, there's a there's a chunk of meat it's missing from the back, meat. right there, yeah. right there. He just fucking took the meat to the cheese grater. Warm, so. Is he at least going to cook it? Pineapple. You fucking spent 12 minutes just making an abortion and you're not going to even cook it? No, he's not. Oh, come on. I would have laughed if he's put the whole plate in the fucking in the oven. It just popped. Yeah, it just shatters. <laughs> oh, oh, man. You can use that late. I'm such a prankster in doing terrible things and recording it and then looking for validation online. Also, depressed and fuck you, I'm pinning that. <laughs> and this is our finished pizza. Not fucking nice. <laughs> and you can, like you say, you can... That's funny, though. I see why this guy's lonely. Mm -hmm. And it's nice mm -hmm. that we're getting recommended K alongside him. We're getting oh, quality. Oh, shit, Sean's K. back. Sean! Yeah, Cobes did a, a jokes video with Sean. Oh, I can't wait to not watch it. Yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> if Boglum Chronicles or Bite Size actually, like, shortens that one, I'll be shocked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is this one? Worthington Snot MP. That This is just more of, like, his, like, weird little skits. It's mostly just him talking, like, over shit he's doing. Kind of like Thomas the Tank Engine. Like, he's... Like, he's just playing with toys? Yes. Oh. I don't want to watch a grown man play with toys. <laughs> However, I see the barbecue burgers thing here, and I'm kind of intrigued. So let's okay. see what this is. Video. Mm -hmm. Oh, so oh, hi, Paul. Asterisk. Hey. Holy <laughs> shit, that was like a fucking, hold on. Um, let me show you who he looks like. like. I'll show the audience. Give me a second. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I misspelled that. Oh, no, do not well, let show me, me. Let me show the audience, and then sh I'm going to show you as well. So, oh, my God. Uh, TV is on. So here is uh, Paul. And I mean this in the nicest possible way. It looks like this guy. Medicated <laughs> P. Do you see it? Oh my fucking Open god! Open image I a new do. tab. Yeah, look at that. That's that's him, buddy. <laughs> he just melted. That's medicated Pete's like long lost relative. What the fuck happened? Uh, he's British. Oh well, yeah. yeah and Pete's fair. medicated. Medicated Pete. Like, doesn't he like talk like this? Like, he's like no. all kinds of fucked up and weird. No, he uh. He kind of talks like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's real very me. funny. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've got the video of him having sex if you ever want to see it. It's gross. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm telling you, I fell headfirst into the stupid fucking stern shit, and it's all Rogue's fault. Yeah. 
I spent like mm-hmm. all of the other night downloading like 40 gigs of Stern content <laughs> and oh organizing it. I've got close to 200 hours of Stern archived. I've got plenty of shit for videos now. Hell yeah, very good. So let's give it a go. Okay, now we're going to uh, <clears throat> I see. Back turkey burgers. Uh-huh. Does he still upload or is he dead? I don't know. I think he uploaded like a like a year ago, but a lot of these videos are nine, ten years. I hope he's doing okay. Mm-hmm. He might just be old and just kind of sitting there. Yeah, he's been sitting in the same spot for weeks, Asterix. He's dead. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you also need an onion for this. Uh, there's 500 grams there, so... I'm going to skip ahead Lord a little bit here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's Here's more the shit. Well, a little more, a little more. Yeah, he's just going to fuck with it. On the but bright side, like, yeah. he's at least, like, separating the meat or mixing it, whatever, more than Kay does. I was just about to say, yeah, yeah. like, he's he's actually doing something, you know? Terrible Dog in the chat brings up a good point, saying, is that a glass bowl over coals? Uh, I believe so. I hope he turns on a flame or something and it shatters. So, guys, if you wanted to know how to make the best glass burgers, this is where I learned it. Classically trained right here. This is how you you mix the glass in perfectly without having to break anything yourself. Let heat do it. Heat in your hands. Half a teaspoon of olive oil. Mm Mm-hmm. One half a tablespoon of olive oil or... One tablespoon. So. Is the audio only coming out of one channel? It always is. It always is. Oh my god. It's recorded in mono on the left. Oh my god. This feels like, like, to me this feels like home videos you find in like an attic or a basement of like a home that's been like foreclosed or something, you know? like A relative of like, yours dies and you just find a stash of VHSs and this is what there's yeah. what's left. And then like Polaroids of like his nipples or whatever, you know what I mean? Like just, just wrong things. Things that make you uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is like, this reminds me of that one stupid hey. horror movie where, um... Oh God! It oh, what was it? Was it the Bye Bye Man? I think no, 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 no. Pee Poo Poo Man. The Pee Pee Poo Poo Man, where like these fucking haunted kids kept following this fucking family run and making them watch tapes or whatever, and the tapes were always like la la la, life is getting grandma. <laughs> Wait, like wait, wait. Where it's uh, is it where these kids are like followed by a ghoul of sorts, and it makes yes. them kill their family? Yes, yes, oh, yes, uh, yes, in, yes. Um, fuck me, fuck me. Uh, what's it called? Um, oh my god, oh my god. Chat? Chat, come on. It's a, I'm pretty sure it's a Sinister? Blumhouse film. Sinister, that's it. I saw Sinister <laughs> 2 with my mom. Oh god. Did you? Oh yeah, I saw god. that in theater. She dragged me to it. Stop and, uh, seeing shitty yeah, movies. <laughs> I hadn't seen the first one. I saw the second one in theaters, and right about to the scene where it's like the this these kids are watching this tape of this kid like... He, the, the, his family was on the ground, and then he put like rats on their gut and trapped them underneath a uh, a bucket. Yeah, yeah. It was just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't do it, I, man. I, what ugh. fucked me up was was the one where like it cuts to like like outdoors in the snow, and they're all buried and like looking around, and like they can't do anything. That fucked me up. They just froze what about there. uh what about when the uh, the family was in the basement with all the uh, electrified water and the kids wearing the rubber boots, <laughs> and he flips the switch. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Yeah, but when that rat pops out the guy the side of the guy's gut, I couldn't do that, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I heard the first one is a lot better than the second one, but I, I haven't seen either. I've only really seen... If you want to see really, really shitty horror film asterisk, look up The Gallows. The Gallows? I believe it's I'm by Blumhouse as, as well. The Gallows 1 and 2 are two entirely different films. They're vaguely tied to each other. The first one's arguably better, but they are both dog shit. They're great to watch if, you've, if you're a little fucked up. Okay, I bet. I bet. When you finish peeling onions, you need to thoroughly wash your hands because if you wipe your um, eyes after you've finished peeling onions, then... Really Is he going to fuck the onion? I bet. He's going to carve a hole in it and stick his fingers in there and lick it. Uh, got all out of skin off your onion. Ugh. And oh, fuck. <laughs> careful. Onion. Careful, Paul. Oh, there goes his finger. <laughs> Bomb armed. <laughs> Terrorist win. <laughs> He's at B. <laughs> Long A. Long A. 
They went through middle overpass. 2A. Cocksuckers. <laughs> oh, there goes the other Shut finger. <laughs> oh. We should be doing this in the kitchen, right? <laughs> Bomb has been planted. <laughs> Very good. Don't mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna just take a bite out of this plate or something already? I figure. Let's go ahead and skip, uh, skip forward a bit. All of his videos have to be skipped through the sea line. What the fuck is that? <laughs> that is just ground turkey and onions and a little bit of finger. What happened to the. Oh, okay, there's his oh, finger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta add the Oregon now. About half a teaspoon of that. That's a lot, actually. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I still have yet to figure out why he's doing this in like a, a brick oven, stove, whatever. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is outside, <laughs> and these. It doesn't sound like it's like... outside. Like the the acoustics, from what little I can hear in my left ear, it sounds like mm -hmm. there's sound bouncing back at him. The thing is, Roke is is those rocks there. Those aren't coals. The fuck are they? That that just looks like driveway gravel. <laughs> oh, so this is like in his garden or something. <laughs> like he's just fucking around. <laughs> I love him. It's got to be cool to be old and just kind of go stir crazy. And just do stuff, yeah. yeah. I would do so much weird shit as an old lady. Put, like, a face on my tree or something, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd be that weird bitch. When I'm old, I'm just going to sit on the porch and act like I die. <laughs> just, like, just lay there all sprawled out in a fucking rocking chair. Let somebody fucking come up and check on me, then tell them to get the fuck off my porch. Scare them. <laughs> then actually have a heart attack. Oh, my God. You laugh so hard at scaring them that you're like brain hemorrhages and you there. Via Wendigo in the chat said, uh, do we let him cook or not? No. He's not cooking. <laughs> is Grandpa is Grandpa Paul invited to the uh, the barbecue? Oh, the that mixed, yeah. I think it's stirred enough. I, no. I don't think enough stirring is going to change something about this. Hi, Burger. Okay, so there's the glass sticking out of it. Big fucking oh, burger. <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck burger. up. <laughs> it's got like a Bob. face on it. It does. It's Bob. Can yeah, look at it. You can kind of see like he's got. <laughs> Paul, my yeah, dad. he's kind of lopsided. Bob's got problems. He's going to build himself a son. Yeah. <laughs> male heir. Some fucking. Some Franken meat over here. Funny man said, when I'm old, I'll just die. Well, that tends to happen. Old people are very good at dying, actually. Oh my god, you're right. That's so cool. Film nerd's right. <laughs> Calls have gone out. <laughs> so is he just not going to show us that... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, Paul. Are you sure those aren't coals? I'm pretty fucking sure those aren't coals. Well, there gotta be something. Did he just did he douse his like his garden river rock with a uh, starting fluid? I'm certain that he had to have done that. Look at how fast it went out. He he just like poured a bunch of ether in there. <laughs> oh <laughs> fuck! Like, it's like he's trying to start a fucking two stroke motor. He found a source of like natural gas, and now in like uh, the next 10, 15 years, it hasn't started like be wiped out. Yeah, well, Good job, Paul. you got to put more ether in there, bud. It ran on it for all of a second. <laughs> Good lord. I love Grandpa starting fires in the backyard. Look at him. He's cooking. Oh my god, Paul. And... Uh, <laughs> well, that's good. And it then really... it cuts to like... Five minutes. Oh, oh no. okay. And as you can see, our that's beautiful. completely done and it looks good enough to eat. It's been a fantastic barbecue. And it's barbecue. Of it just dying down. That's beautiful, Paul. Thank you. Do you feel cozy and warm right now, Roke? I do. I Comforting. appreciate the the static as the video shuts off. Mm -hmm. That really you adds to. Need to steal to that it. for the intro. <laughs> oh, I will. Oh, oh, look! It's that fucking guy. We remember this fucker? Weber Cox. Didn't he oh. like rape a woman or something? <laughs> You're so sad. <laughs> yeah, didn't he like fuck a woman or some shit? Like he he well yeah of course he did but like he got in trouble for groping or rape or something. 
I think he got kicked off of like this like college ra- like TV or whatever. Yeah, college the rape group. <laughs> college rape group. No, Weber but like I, I remember like somebody bringing up saying like, oh, if you look up his name, there's a mugshot or something. I'm just oh, looking it cats, up now. This is Weber Cooks. I totally forgot about this. I gotta watch and him. Today we're yeah, doing yeah, yeah. Uh, chili cheese nachos. Yeah. Oh, I see. We start with a can of. What does he seen to make his like face so sad? His wife left him for a stiffer oh. dick. <laughs> his son's dead. His dog's dead. His car won't start. He's fucking years behind on his taxes. He won't be able to make the mortgage. And most importantly, Asterix, that shirt isn't tailored to his body type. He's say, having a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> and all and he's got is his cheese, his chili, his chips, and his microwave. That's all you need, man. Chef Mike. I'm looking more for this fucking Weber then, Cook uh, shit. That guy said, lady. this guy's dead, by the way. Well, I'm not shocked. He looks like he's ready to suck a shotgun. <laughs> he's so depressed, he's going to he's gonna start the gun by sucking it. Oh, my fucking sauce, God. We just take off the lid. And we They're calling him a convicted sex offender. In the oh. Microwave. Well, I, I guess sex offenders love nachos because Daniel and this guy... Well, Daniel loves mac and cheese, too, don't forget. He prefers nachos, And I nachos, doubt you want though. that to be a calling card. Does he really? Yeah, nachos appears to be his, his go-to. The but mac and cheese is a close second. For four and a half minutes. And when that's done, we'll put them in a bowl. Why don't you uh-huh. just mix the two together? Like, put a little bit of the cheese and the chili in the bowl, mix it up, and then microwave that. Rogue, this is the one thing in his life that he has. Con- oh, oh, okay, that's right. <laughs> Let him have this. The only joy he gets out of life is when he gets to see his son on the weekend, and he buys him like some fucking money for his Xbox or PlayStation account. Yeah, he and gives him some V bucks. Yeah, <laughs> the kid starts talking back, and he just like kind of taps on his brakes in the Corolla, and you know he tried to brake check him and make the make his head hit on the dash, but uh, the brakes didn't engage, and they crashed and died. Dude, his middle name is Eugene. Yeah, he looks like a Eugene. That's a pepper if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Mix it up uh, we'll have a dip for he was convicted of a forcible sexual to... abuse and a second degree, degree yeah. felony. So What sexual abuse? Forcible sexual abuse slash okay. second degree felony. That's it. Oh. There's I don't see any other information so far. Oh, so he's a he's a raper. Oh, oh. Mr. Raper. <laughs> He fucked the cameraman after this was recorded, and then when he was done, he fucked the microwave. Mm-hmm. I want to see it just fucking pop in there. Ding! Okay, the now grab the hot jar with your bare hands. Things are done. You got to be careful because the this microwave sounds like my ex-wife. Really hot. Annoying. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's fucking my old boss. Also, this this cheese reminds me of my wife. <laughs> this that cheese is the same color as together. her fluids. This, this, this reminds, reminds me of her me shit. Of this is my wife. Now I made her into chili. <laughs> okay, see, like he's doing what I said he was gonna do anyways. He should have just started with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And boy, howdy, is that a lot of cheese? <laughs> it really is. That's a bit much. <laughs> A little bit less, like maybe two scoops mm-hmm. less would have been enough. And he likes his cheese. He didn't even he mix it. Even st- <laughs> no. <laughs> this up and... Come on. Come on, Weber. You got this. You pour that shit out. Have some yeah. on a plate. Uh-huh. And I love when you get tortillas you and there's just like a, a clump of them that. that's like 14 all folded together and fried. Oh, that's great. Mm-hmm. Will satisfy... A small group, and this satisfy, will huh? Will mm-hmm. run you about six bucks, but when you figure that it will feed anywhere from three to six people, it will only cost you a dollar or two dollars per person. <coughs> and I'm Stephen Reed, and this was Weber Cooks. Damn. Thank you, Weber, mm-hmm. for whatever the fuck you just did. I mean, I that doesn't look very appetizing. No. He could at least mix it, but then it's still going to look gross. It could be worse, though. He could be one of those people that puts shredded cheese on chips and microwaves it. 
<laughs> I forgot about that golden rule, and I did that, and I was left with the saddest little pile. Of you fun. did that? I did. When? It was late, like like a, a couple nights ago. Like I had like nacho leftover, or I'm sorry, taco meat leftover, and I was late from like from work, and I'm like, oh, I just want to eat something now, and I made nachos. You're fucking stupid. But I didn't have nacho <laughs> cheese. That's fair. But yeah, Astrid, I, I may do. Yes, Rob. You need to check those videos while I read some supers. Well, and then after then. that, we will look at somebody else. Okay, I'm going to grab my phone charger as well. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, that sounds wonderful. Anyways, let me get the music playing. Whoa, that is way too loud. Anyways, how is Chad doing? Been a moment since I asked you guys how you're feeling. Emotionally, how are you doing? Is life not too hard? I hope you guys are ready for the difficult future that's ahead. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Things are going to get really, really, really bad. I don't know what that means, but trust me, unforeseen consequences. Anyways, let me see here. <clears throat> oh, Wise Fox said they got a new job. That's awesome. Purple Peak said doing pretty good. Cosmic uh, said my night sucked. Well, I hope your night is at least improving or it will get better. Uh, show said I'm feeling pretty Jewish. Well, good for you. Uh, Star and Speculation said you are insulting me and film nerd nacho cheese is nasty. Hey, fuck you. Nacho cheese is good. You take that back. More nacho cheese for me. Uh, okay, man said I'm extremely high. Kobio said doing great. Really want to see Godzilla minus one again. It's great. There's a new Godzilla film out. I I didn't even know. Cool. Uh, and Slug Boys, of course. Brains said he's doing great. Good shit. And I saw your your thing. Don't worry, I'll play that at the end. But let me see what these supers say here. <clears throat> Victor Hugo Martinez sent in two dollars saying loving the Christmas pia pia of yours. That's what's up. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Reap and No sent in $2 saying hee-ho, hee-ho, Mugrimas. Well, hee-ho indeed. Victor sent in another $2 saying it is finally December. And that it is, man. This year has flown by and it's only going to get faster. And then one day we will all meet the eternal sleep. Milf Slayer Hot Tower sent in $2 saying, Arthur, we need to go back to McDonald's Land, son. Uh, not, nah, I, I'd rather not, uh, Chad. I, I'm going to stay here. Uh, you, you go ahead. That, that's all you. Stranger Bob sent in 99 cents with no message. Hell yeah. Vampiric Knight sent in $5 saying goat crimes. Astrid, did you say your favorite word again? She did. She actually called me that and it made me cry. But Asia CNO sent in, uh, let's see here, five memberships. Good shit. Babsy Kun VA sent in $2 saying Rogue, you hit 25k subs on a non Chris stream. Did I? Did it happen on. This stream, or I thought it was a, or was it last year? I don't, I don't remember. But still, that's good. I, I, I totally forgot we hit the 25k mark. We're almost back where we need to be. Angel Jacobo sent in five dollars saying Peter Griffin is coming to Fortnite. Well, I'm not a Fortnite guy, but I do enjoy a little bit of Family Guy. And when I heard about Peter coming, that made me come. Nay, nay, nay! Sent in two dollars saying asterisk stinky like doo doo poopy fart. I well, yeah. There you go. You, you get a little hard for that one. You uh, you tried. Took a chance at the two dollars, saying, "What do you think of the Mario RPG remake? It looks really good. Uh, I haven't gotten a chance to get my hands on it, but maybe when the price goes down." Big Boss Nick Flynn sent in ten dollars, saying, "Watching Godzilla minus one right now. Catch the VOD later. Supposed to be at work three and a half, or three thirteen-hour shifts back to back, but ended up being canceled. Still get paid for it. Hell yeah, that's good. God, I love mall security work. Take some doubloons. Well, fuck yeah, man. I hope the movie's uh, enjoyable." Trick Star sent in 10 memberships. Good shit. Followed by Liquid Snappy sending in 20 more. Hell yes. Koopa Chan sent in $2 saying also happy 1k brains. Yep, brains hit 1,000 subs. Good shit, man. The World Ends With You sent in 4 dollars saying can you tell me to have a good morning since that's when I'll be watching this at work tomorrow. Well, hey, The World Ends With You. This is a rogue from the past telling you in the future good morning. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Put your pants on or don't. That's really up to you. <laughs> challenge the day however you see fit. Victor Hugo Martinez sent in $10 saying, I've recommended two of your early vids about Cobes to a VTuber I'm watching called Chacha Your VMom. She doesn't know much about him, but I know she's going to be grossed out after the first video while I... Damn. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> uh, I think a neighbor of mine just fired off a gun. <laughs> I hope the mic picked that up. That sounded like it was across the alley. One of my neighbors might be dead now. Uh-oh. S.A. and Scoundrel sent in $2 saying, Hey, Rogue, can you shout out my friend? Oh, Judy. Uh, hey, hey, Judy, I, I can't say your last name. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, <laughs> chat heard it. I'm pretty sure those were gunshots. It was like, there was a few quick, and then a stop, and then some more. I don't know. <laughs> somebody might have been uh, either trying to kill somebody or just shooting it off. I live in an exciting neighborhood. Damn. I don't care. <clears throat> Where were we? Babsy Coon VA sent in $2 saying, uh, I pray to the goat to one day give me two left hands. Well, maybe someday you will be fortunate enough to not ever have to need another right hand. Slung boys prank. <clears throat> Black brains. Black brains sent in five dollars Canadian saying happy Ratter Day. Art goal rules, Aster. Can you play too high for uh too high after dark by me and Club Doom for the outro? I will DM the track to you. That's what's up, tubes, rip puffle. Hell yes, I can definitely do that. Uh send it my way. If if you're on Discord right now, send it to me and I will try to take a little peek at it. Well that you know what I mean. Film Nerd sent in five memberships. Good shit. James Barnowski sent in $5 saying, I spent the last two Saturdays directing a bad play, but I'm free now. How are my favorite homosexuals? Well, Asterisk is doing Asterisk things, and me, well, I, I I, haven't touched any penises lately, I don't think, so I don't think I am a homo. So you better watch your labels. But uh, as far as the play goes, I hope, and even if it was, oh, you know what, guys? I just, the TV. There we go. Pro was still on the TV. I forgot I did that. Anyways, uh, where was I? But no, I, I hope your play, even if it was bad, I hope you at least had a good time. Nash Zom sent in $5 saying, I just remembered the Kamikaze Punchy, and now I'm imagining uh, the Sonichu's Bonsai charging Marines in Okinawa like Cod World at War's Revenge. Ooh, ooh, that's an idea there. Damn. Wait, hold on. What's with all the one, two, threes in the chat? One, two, three, if, if Rogue Shakita's is done. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to go get my shotgun to defend my home, my domicile. No. Uh, anyways, and they said, yeah, a rogue is a little bitch. He's not going to shoot anyone. No, I don't, I don't want to shoot anybody. Not today. I want to be a good boy. We had your silver star sent in $10 saying, hey, former stoner, former stoner and terrorist waifu. Oh, I, I see. You're calling me the former stoner. I'm sorry. I thought you said you're not smoking weed anymore. I was like, oh man, you, you become a normie. I've, I'm, i God, you and I were so close and then you had to do that. But oh, well, yes, I'm the former stoner and the terrorist waifu. I've been playing that wizard game. People told me not to play it, and I played it despite them. Kept you waiting, huh? Well, shit, uh, what wizard game is that? Or is it World of Warcraft or something? Or, or no, wait, no, wait, 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 wizard. Um, Hogwarts Legacy, right? Is that the one you're talking about? I hope you're at least having fun. Uh, Harry Potter's not my thing, if that's what you're playing, but uh, I heard it was pretty good, all things considered. Destroyer of Shed sent in $5, saying these two lunatics are like Wario and Waluigi version of Rogue and Asterisk. Oh my god. You're right. You're right, they're, they're us, but actually they do less drugs and are a little bit more normal. Ah, yes, I see. Wizard 101 in the chat. That's what it was. Wizard 101. Good game. Good game. That takes me back to my youth. Linky Pup sent in $5 saying, Cobes made Puff go poof for the secrets on how to make the worst meat imaginable. You know, that's a really good point. Puff didn't die for nothing, at least, so we can take solace in that. Anime Game 16 sent in 199 saying, I see, said the blind man. Yes, he did see. Without his eyes. AJ Nelson sent in $20 saying, if I had a nickel for every time my brother decided to snort Gatorade powder, I'd have two nickels, which may not be a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. AJ, is it, what what flavor of Gatorade powder is it? Is it the um, the lemon lime, the yellow one, or the, the fruit punch? Blue. Uh, blue. Or blue, blue's good, but I've only mm, ever seen good. the powder version of uh, yellow and red. I don't know if they make the other flavors. That's fair. You got me there. Yeah. Also, hi. Hi. How, how are the, Did you, uh, you missed it. Somebody in my neighborhood, like, I think they were in the alley, shot, like, they mag dumped. Oh my god, you, heard, like, did it come through your mic? I'm, I I think some people heard it, but it was loud. Oh. Like, it sounded oh like it god. was, just, like, just across the alley. All right. <laughs> come on, neighbors. My turn. Hey, yeah. You missed, <laughs> Bring bitch. Bring the down. <laughs> yeah. That'd be, that'd oh, be exciting. <laughs> so, let me see here. I'm going to read a couple more supers, and then we'll get back to what we were doing. Uh, this Ohio expansion, oh, I'm sorry, Ouija Silver Stars, and then 666, saying this Ohio expansion to Cyberpunk be looking great. Oh, man, doesn't it? They really turned that around. Babsy Coon VA sent in $5, saying, as a glowy in Los Angeles, I can, oh, sorry, I burped. I can tell you that we are not disguising the LAPD as homeless. We, sorry, we let them go after the homeless in broad daylight, as you should. The homeless probably did something to deserve it. Not really, don't take me seriously there. Soul Tales sent in $2, saying, whatever, well. Yeah, sure, uh, whatever, okay. Bino Supremo sent in $5 saying, article idea, Cobra as uh, Galactus making sick food hacks with Mountain Dew and planets. Ooh, 
Ooh, Ooh, that's a good one. Nebo sent in $2 Canadian saying, this is why I don't go out in public. Why not? It's It seems like it's such a good time. Camel Toe became a member. <laughs> Camel Toe. <laughs> <laughs> Next one's going to be Moose Knuckle. Nash Zom sent in $5 saying, there's an interview with the guy who ran one of the group homes Daniel was in. I highly recommend listening to it. Some of the shit he says is crazy. Where, where can I find this? What's the name of the channel that has it? I'd love to listen to that one. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, that sounds exciting. But thank you all for the super chats. They're always very much appreciated, and I'll be reading the second half of them at the very end of the stream. So <laughs> let's see here, Asterisk. Who should we look mm -hmm. at now? Um, okay, we've seen Paul, we've seen Danny, a little bit of John Law. I, I think it's Cope time. Okay. Can I okay. can I watch something with you to to get us ready for the gothic bad boy? Something that's gonna make you feel good? I think I think you really should. Yes. This one is going to be nice for the audience. Let me get the other video, uh, or at least primed, I guess. Oh, no, mm -hmm. no, wait, there's a blurb to read. I don't need to do that. So this is a quick little video. It's just something short and sweet to get you guys ready for something awful. Go this one always dad, cheers me up when I'm feeling down. This is the video of uh, Terry dancing to the sound of traffic. Of course, provided by Davisonism. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Thank you kindly. Can't see myself. Gonna see myself. Come on, King. We can see you. Let's go. Come on, man. Mm-hmm. You got this. <laughs> That's fantastic. I always, I don't know, just videos with Terry when he wasn't like getting really serious and angry always, always lift my mood. You enjoyed his silly moments. Yeah, like, I obviously, that. I had a lot of fun when he was, like, answering the phone and calling people the gamer word and, and whatever mm -hmm. else. But I really, my favorite moments have to be when he's doing silly shit like this or he's making spaghetti or eating cheese and crackers and drinking beer with his dad. Shit like that. Mm -hmm. The the minutia. The little things were always great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can we get some Fs in the chat for Terry? Gone, but most definitely not forgotten. Never will be. Rest in peace, legend. Yeah. He's fucking grooving. Hey, Babsy Kun VA, you're a glowy. Can you at least find out why you guys <laughs> killed him? Did he give us an answer? Did he know too much? Oh, that's horrible. Just, I'm just savoring the moment, really. I yeah, just, like. This is soul cleansing, it's, really. It's peaceful. I can only imagine can... the sick beats in his head, you know? Oh, it's, you know, it's like Black Sabbath or something. <laughs> Damn. Hold on, what did Surge say? Cyrax's grandma's car got bricked. He raged in the latest video. What do you mean her car got bricked? Like it won't start? Is the battery dead? Or like somebody... windows shattered, like. I've never heard of a car getting bricked. <laughs> Let me check it out for you. Tyler Weisner says, is Temple OS abandoned where now? Well, technically, the I, I guess in a sense, yes, because Temple OS is not an active development and not sold or anything, but it is distributed from the same source, so maybe not. The source code is also available, and there are, um, like, forks of it. There's, like, modern interpretations or extensions of the operating system. So, in a sense, it is still an active development, just by different blood. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, Purple Peak said someone threw a brick with with a note attached to it. What did the what did the <gasps> note say? Oh, that's fucked up. Oh man. Well, I mean, Please. they probably called him a pedophile and whatever else, and taunted mm. him. Holy shit! Bluba said, uh, "Did Terry do anything wrong?" No, 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 no. No, he's just a he. Or I was gonna say he is a fun guy, but he was a fun guy <laughs> who was just schizophrenic and wrote his own operating system all by himself. Just a really, really, really smart guy, mm -hmm. and just a really tragic tale. But in between the sadness, there's moments of him saying the gamer word mm -hmm. and talking about how God only wanted <clears throat> uh, like 16-bit color depth in the operating system because it's a covenant. I think he said it was. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. he's interesting guy. And like how like God likes elephants, so he likes yeah, elephants. Yeah, there's just Yay. a in yeah. the lunacy, there is a there is a compassion, there's like a genuine emotion in there. And he was mm -hmm. a very hopeful guy. 
And that's why one of the things I think I take solace from when I watch his shit is even when he was at his lowest point, he was still an optimist to some degree. And I believe that was mostly due to his faith, which is a wonderful thing. Not a faith guy myself, but if it can bring you that kind of peace, I don't see the harm in it. Yeah, exactly. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> so let me see here. We need to look at Cobra because he is back on YouTube, dudes. So let me see here. Cobra has put forth a valiant effort to work past the terrible situation his vile trolls put him in. Dude, he's still cutting back on his drinking, he still loves his puffers, and he's still an avid enjoyer of homebrewed mead and soda pop alike. Other than recalibrating the presentation of... Or, I'm sorry. I, oh, I was reading that right. I'm sorry. Other than recalibrating the presentation of his mod, the Cobro has yet to do anything substantial. After the unfortunate majority of November, Clint bestowed pity upon the rock star villain and brought him along for a family trip. The greater Saunders family was not much a fan of Josh's antics, but that's okay. Clint condoned all of it. It would appear that Cobra's father is not much a fan of reprimanding those who are out of line, especially his own child. Cobes is still convinced that Puff will return to him in the coming months. Somehow, Cobes was unable to catch Puff after bringing him outside, probably when he was smoking a cigarette or something. Mm -hmm. And as to why he brought Puff dur out during this uh, colder temperature is, uh, doesn't really make a lot of sense. I mean, let alone bring him outside in general. I I'll never understand that. His current belief is that the gothic beardy is currently burrowed into the ground, waiting for the frigid weather to pass. Cobes is correct that he'll be reunited with Puff one day, but... Not in the way he thinks he will. Puff mm. was also sent to hell for his many crimes against God. So Puff's in hell right now. Burning. <laughs> God damn it. So let oh, me goodness. see here. Which is the video with his family? Uh, his goth son, Spank Cheese. Uh, okay. Third one down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, this was uploaded by Clamp's Basement. Of course, not a sponsor. Mm -hmm. And let's see here. TV screen is now on. He is at a pizza restaurant with the Saunders family. Pizzeria, yeah. Yes, it's... <laughs> Pizzeria. Look at it. Look at it. YouTube, look at it. And again, okay, so uh, a little bit of context for anybody not following. Cobra, of course, lost Puff. He's dead now, right? Puff's mm -hmm. gone. And immediately after he lost Puff, he went on vacation with his family, like a Thanksgiving break type deal to like a water park or something like that. And here he's at some kind of pizza parlor, hanging out, having a good time, making an ass of himself. Mm hmm Yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm going to set this mac and cheese pizza right here for you. That sounds oh, perfect. And that's mac and everybody. cheese pizza. Oh, we're going to try his little... I've had mac and cheese pizza before. It's, uh, it's a bit much. Is it? Is it too much? It can be. I see. I see. Oh, yes, it's yes. so good. I do not Did they just put mac and cheese on a pizza? We're not talking. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, being well in the chat said, uh, Josh admitted he only kept Puff under a standard 100 watt indoor light bulb in his latest video. Puff definitely died of neglect. I love this theory that Puff just died and he lied to cover it up. It's very possible. I love that. That is so fucking funny. But I just don't think, like, Cobra has the capacity to fucking lie like that. No, I mean, to some extent, we've, we've, not we, but he's been caught in lies before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, He's mm -hmm. been caught in lies multiple times, so it's entirely possible, but I really have no idea. Or even, I should say, like, smart enough to formulate and stick with this story, I should say. I think he has the capacity to, not to, like, stick with it. You know what I mean? He crack. Mm -hmm. But that's that. that it's a shame that Puff's me. gone, though, because I was really considering, like, trying to reach out to a channel that talks about reptiles, at least getting them on for 30 minutes or something, mm -hmm. and getting their input. Because I would love, like, somebody who actually works with these animals as, like, a profession in any mm -hmm. capacity to break down for it. Because, obviously, I can go on Google and look things up and get you answers. But when somebody who actually is an authority on the subject tells you, it hammers in. Plus, I just want to hear the mortified gasps. Of course, of course. I mean, they're, like, it's not like that, like, like we can't ever. Because mm -hmm. Cobra has gone on record to say something, something, um, I'll, it'll, it'll take me a year at the latest to get over Puff from the day that I lost him. So he is already planning on getting another fucking lizard. He he also said at one point too, he's like, well, I could just get another one eventually. Yeah, so exactly. It's a matter of time, but I don't think he's going to get another lizard. I think if he is going to get a pet, it's most likely going to be like a cat or something or a dog. And maybe, maybe if, a dog, yeah. if he gets a pet like that, the trolling efforts are going to be 10 to 20 times worse. 
Because people mm-hmm. liked the lizard, but lizards are, for all their nice little quirks, I, I think we can all agree, comparatively to dogs, are kind of a little dumber. You're not going to get as much out of them. Not saying that they're shitty pets, but the dog, pe- people tend to feel more for dogs. Yeah, you know, they're for a different best friend. kind of person. You yeah, know? exactly. More people yeah. can relate to loving a dog. Secret yeah. location. Shh. Oh, that is beautiful. That's like art right there. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Wow, well, it's a pizza. Oh my yeah. god. It's art. Oh, I gotta take a picture of my camera because I can't talk. And there's Clint. Oh, I, have we uh, ever seen Clint on video? Like, we, I know there's videos of him like dancing on stage and doing play mm-hmm. stuff. But I don't. This is the first time I think we've seen Clint in a Cobes video, or at least looking at the camera. So this might be history here. Maybe. This my dad. This Papa Cobra. Hi, Dad. Right there. Please don't fucking Thank look you. at the camera again. He's gonna make cutesy little goofy faces. He's gonna go kissy. Mm, you John know. Bacon in the chat says it looks like he has uh, smeared Vaseline on his lens. It's like the uh, the fog era for uh, Daniel. 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 John Bacon, you have a good name. Yeah, it's a good name. Um, <laughs> did you see that uh, Daniel said that the fog era was because the trolls or the fake management convinced him to put tape over his lens? Uh, I think he said that what? within like the last month. Yeah, on a community post. <laughs> Like, oh, I love that so much. Salt. I was gonna say no, but she was sounding like a lot of salt, dude. You two have never tried this pizza restaurant, but oh yeah, there's Papa Cobra. Ew, stop. They're identical. So, two kinds of pepperoni. It's one of the city that all. But he just he seems to love this that Cobes does this content creation. He, I think he loves, because he's such a fucking artist, he is going to love anything Cobes does where he thinks that Cobra is expressing. Plus, not to mention this keeps Cobes busy, in, in quotations, mm-hmm. of course. He's got something to keep him distracted to, to some degree. I mean, it's, it's one thing to have hobbies. Mm-hmm. I think that's like the number one thing people should have uh, in life, you know, but... Cope also has no work ethic and he has no fucking job, you know? Yeah. Like, he Nine. needs, like, the balance. He needs the pie to be cut properly, you know? Like, I honestly, man, like, it maybe it makes me, like, it would make me a shitty father, but I think I would cut Cope's off. I'd cut him loose. I... Everybody's different, I think, but I think yeah. after everything he's been through, I would probably cut him off. If this was my kid, I mean, I, I just, I don't know. You know, or that or give him very, very, very little. Because if he's, like, actually mentally fucking, like, regarded, then, I mean, I feel like there's, like, an obligation. Like, he came out of me. But I doubt I would give him much, if anything. Yeah, yeah. at the most, if I couldn't, like, cut him loose, I would just be further than arm's distance. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna have different opinions. I mean, fuck. Like, I mean, you're not having babies, you know what I mean? Yeah. But fuck, man. Uh Uh-uh. Always happy Thanksgiving. Baby, just so you know. I'm going to hit it with some Parmesan. Spank the cheese on there. John says, you don't get it, dude. Clunk took out an enormous life insurance policy on Jorf. He is already, he's ready to cash in. I love when when you guys call him Jorp or Jord. Or Gord. (laughs) Gord is great. He is a fucking Gord. You spanking cheese, James? He's uh, slowly killing himself and ready to write a play about that. Get he's got his wand with him. He's got his magic fucking wand with him at the table. Oh, Did you get put that away. Oh, fuck, man. And he's around the whole family. And if you listen closely in, the, in this video, you can hear family members getting uncomfortable about the fact that he's mm-hmm. got his phone out and he's recording. Because I would imagine, too, that they... Him being off of the internet was probably one of the kind of sort of rules. Yeah, caveats yeah, of yeah, being yeah. around. But Clint mm-hmm. probably just didn't care, gave him the leeway, because Cobes has basically got the mind of a, of a drunken three-year-old. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course. Stop encouraging him, dude. <laughs> He's creative, Astrid. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Mm. I'm not going on life. Oh, come on. You know, you're going to get more out of that if you just shake it yeah. instead of hitting it. But it's funny because he's spanking it. Like, he's spanking uh. a butt because he's funny. Yeah. She's begging at this fucking point. Please just turn it off. I'm not going live. I'm just filming a quick little food review for YouTube. 
Even then, you can just take photos of your fucking food like everybody else. You yeah. know? Like, this is a... This is uncomfortable. Not just that, but like, this is, this is holiday time, right? Like, this is your yeah. family. One yeah. day, your family is going to be gone. Yeah. You only have a set amount of Thanksgivings and holidays with the people that you love. And as you get older, the, obviously, that number drops significantly. And then every year, the probability of your folks and the rest of your family fucking dying off or moving away increases. You should mm -hmm. take the time, unplug your phone, shove it up your fucking ass, and pay attention. Yeah. And that's all you gotta do. Just fucking turn your phone off, chew on your pizza, complain about the tooth pain, and then hang out with your dad. Come on, motherfucker. And even then, here comes his dad, like, defending his bullshit. It's like, come on, stand up for your fucking, like, wife or whatever the hell's going on here. Yeah. You know? Uh. Yeah, and the chat pointed out it's really the other way around for Josh. He's gonna die before Clint. <laughs> but still, True. you know, this is just this time of the year, th these kind of holidays... Don't take them for granted. Yeah. They'll end one day, and you'll miss you them. You two, one little slice. Can't stand you. Stop. Oh, no, look at that. Mm-hmm. You see that? You see fucking Cohen's making a stupid, like, oh, see like fucking seizure faces? Yeah. Uh, I know. But that's where Josh gets it from. Yeah. Oh, you too. When he's now with a bowler hat and about 30 more pounds. <laughs> I love ending these videos with, with static oh, and shit. That's so funny. Oh, and, there, and there's chair bugs. Hey, good man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Puff right away. <laughs> oh, Eugenia Cooney reaction. Oh, God. Oh, God, that's the, that's the fucking, that outfit Eugenia's got on. I yeah. had an old community post where they photoshopped you, that Eugenia right there into looking like the uh, Revenant from Doom with the, uh, the, the rocket launchers and shit, the skeleton. <laughs> That yeah, that shit killed me. It <laughs> fucking sent me. God, I, I gotta find that again and put it on the community wall. I don't think I've done that on this new channel. Mm -hmm. We, mm -hmm. we are more than fucking due. So there was that. Uh, he did attempt to make some eggnog mead, but that fell through. Let's take a little peek here. Uh, this, of course, was provided by Boglum Chronicles. Not a sponsor. Not a but sponsor. But a friend of the channel. So mm -hmm. TV screen is on. Let's take a peek. <laughs> I already fucked it up. Good job. Yep. What up, YouTube? It's your boy King Cobra back. So, Chad, do you guys like eggnog? What about you, Asterix? I don't know. I flip flop on it. A lot of times, yeah. it's a little too sweet for. Mm, sorry, a little too sweet for me, but. Maybe a little bit, like a little bit, just seasonal. Just have a little yeah. taste of it. That's all I need. It's like Maybe a pint, I'm, yeah. If that. You know, mainly yeah. I just want a few sips. I just want to get the flavor, and I, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I like eggnog-flavored things, or, like, again, just, like, like a little bit, but I'm not going to go, like, drinking gallons of it. Because, like, in my brain, I go, this is eggs. This is eggs, and I get sick. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just the thought that fucks me up. That's fair. Okay, yeah, with another video, we got some 1118 yeast, and we got a couple of ingredients here granulated sugar right there just like that Hobbs and I get the same sugar funny man we're like a dead a little baby chicken juice a <sighs> dead baby <laughs> chicken juice <laughs> card yeah. open right here oh, easier yeah. to open I'm so glad that you also have a kindred spirit with a cobra over your sugar choices yeah mm. two cups of sugar and that's a good fucking honey too, but it like I just it's expensive. It's not worth it. Mm -hmm. Just get the cute Some little honey. bear. Me and the good old US of A Ron unfiltered local hive. We add the whole damn thing in here. Good. <sighs> I mean that's essentially all he's gonna really need next next to the yeast, right? That's the base component. Yeah, the I'm using only when used once. I'll never get over the his the other desire for sugar design. and meat, but this fucking bullshit. I mean, that has to feel good on the teeth. Mmm. Can you make a mead with... Have you noticed that he doesn't just use a little bit of anything? Like, obviously, there's no measurements, but, like, if he opens a, a container or a, a package, he's going to put yeah. almost all of it at the very least. It's always... Like, he doesn't... Like, his, his, his eyes are too big for his stomach. Like, it's always... Yeah. I just don't get that. Eggnog yeah. and chocolate milk. We're gonna find out. Give it about two weeks. 
I'm gonna let it age in the fridge. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, age in the fridge. So it doesn't spoil. Wouldn't uh, putting it in the fridge probably <laughs> fuck up the fermentation process? Yes, that that's that's a big thing. Um, the refrigeration is going to slow down the yeast, no matter. Mm. That's why you can store jars of yeast in the fridge if you're careful. Oh. Yeah. You know, is it the cold water to swish it around, get the excess out? Of course, of course, like you do. I bet when he pees, it's the same color as that honey. I bet when he pees, it's all sugar, like a diabetic. I wasn't paying attention, and I thought that was a container full of mustard. <laughs> Next, we're gonna add our liquids. Oh. Some Sunday chocolate syrup, Hershey syrup. Dude, come weird, on. Weird, weird start, but okay. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> he, he made a wet and juicy. <laughs> Blow, <laughs> blowing kisses oh, to fuck, the trolls the and all that. Oh, fuck, I got the Oh, the Hershey squirts. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God, dude. Hershey squirts. <laughs> well, at least there was only a little bit to be added in there, but he's trying. He's gonna get every little last food out of there. For our yeast. That would make a really good sound bite for a fart, though. Is the, that the sounded of wet. syrup? That sounded mm -hmm. wet. Mm. <laughs> I bet that's how they do it. I'm not gonna lie. Oh god. Making a new mead recipe for the holidays. People like the mead content, and I like making it. God, there's something I was gonna say, but it's the egg uh, eggnog from Southern Comfort. Oh Jesus! Here we go. The main ingredient: eggs. Mm, mm, mm. I really doubt that putting eggs in mead would work well. No, it's it's dairy. I yeah, mean, it's, it's just gonna fucking like. It's gonna curdle. It's, just, it's gonna curdle and it's gonna like rot. And yeah, that's it. and get sour. Yeah, it's gonna sour. That was it. Ooh. Jesus fucking Christ. Looks like infected and puss discharge. Ew, yeah. <laughs> it looks like he's doing like a science project on like this cop. You know what I mean? Oh, look at that. It's like set. His shit always settles, but watch. One part of it is like slouching deeper than the other. Mmm, look now, at that go. Mix it up real see, quick, dude. See, right there. Yeah, it's eating through the water milk. layer, but it's not going to fucking from, touch the. From, uh, yeah. Promised yeah. land. Midnight chocolate, whole milk, ultra pasteurized, rich Fuckman, so That's what my cum looks like. And creamier. I'm, I'm sorry. Tastes what like the Jersey. Your fucking dick and balls. <laughs> cow like difference. Cum, <laughs> or taste the Jersey cow difference, not a sponsor. Is that Obi's collar? Is it? Where? On him? Oh, right there. Oh, yes, I think it is. I think it is. I was uh, listening to one of uh, Bite Size's documentaries on Cobra hmm. the other day, and I did not know that Cobra's wore uh, his dog's collar after it died. What? Yeah, he was drinking a beer and wearing his dog's collar. I don't remember if it was a Chance or Obi, but... That's weird. Yeah. I don't think Cobra Press remembers, though, to be fair. That is delightful. That's good chocolate milk. Like, to like, with that. These are all really expensive fucking things. Like, Southern Comfort's expensive. I'm sure eggnog was expensive. That jar of honey was probably like $10. Yeah. I just, I don't get it. Kind of spilt the last batch of mead that I made, and I felt terrible about it, so we're going to have to make another one, I guess. John Bacon says that he's actually uh, ingesting two days' worth of sugar in one mead drink. And don't worry, you're not you're not a bugging me, man. You can add me as much as you want. Yeah. But I'm holy about shit. I'm going to an eggnog. It'll give us plenty of room to burp with the yeast. Can't get to look at every ad, but, like, you know. This mead probably accelerated the, uh, the mouth rot. Mm -hmm. Stir it around town. The mouth rot. I mean, fuck, imagine what it's doing to his fucking kidneys. And his liver. Chase Miller said you wouldn't wear a past lover's jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. That is really fucking gross, man. And look at that. It doesn't look, reach the bottom. He can't start it. I want you to guess what he's going to do if he can't get that spoon all the way down. Put a lid on it and shake it. Mm, that's a really good guess, but I guess we'll have to see. Like, that would be my best bet if you couldn't get it. But another idea is if you don't have, like, a, a fork or something that's going to reach that far down for obvious reasons, mm -hmm. use a spatula. Mm -hmm. Very true. Or even, like, a ladle or... Something. Just a, a long cookie. A, a ladle would be pretty decent, given the length. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. come on. 
Oh, 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 he got some. Very creamy, very chocolatey, very eggnog tasting. Look at that. It's rising upward. <laughs> There's a honey layer. It's, just, it's separating. Oh, my fucking God. You gotta dissolve that damn sugar. Is it the wand? Is that what he's gonna use? Stick your whole hand in there. He's trying. <gasps> did he put his hand in there? He, he, yes, he okay, did. Okay, so that surely that fucked up the process already. Yeah. You gotta get my hand in there and stir it around, I guess. Oh Not my! Not the uh, cleanest way to do it, but God. it is what it is. Rush Anish <laughs> added me and said, "Shit, my pants, boy." Well, uh, congrats. <laughs> It's still not fucking done, too. Ho, 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 ho. Thank you, Santa, for your words of wisdom. Let's get the head here. Just or, or, that's no, as it's gonna be, I guess. Oh, dude, come on. How did he miss so much in the fucking jar? Because he's fucking stupid. Now to turn it into oh, really? uh, delicious 18% alcohol by volume. We're going to use a EC1118. Oh. One whole packet of yeast. You know, I bet he saw all those like novelty alcohols, like the spiked eggnog and the chocolate liquor and all that. And I bet he was like, oh, I can make that. Oh, oh absolutely. Oh, oh, oh. That's where his stupid fucking brain went. Grab another clean spoon, fork, whatever, stir it around. <laughs> yeah, use the fork, buddy. Good idea. Stir that yeast around. Yeah, stir it around when you can't even get the fucking bottom sorted out. Mm -hmm. Like, at this point, I think your best bet yeast, is literally yeast, just shaking nutrients. it up. Right, a little bit of that. He's adding nutrient. Okay. And a one cap full of yeast nutrient. Is that is for the yeast, the, the yeast to eat? I suppose, but it already has sugar. I guess, I guess it's probably like giving the yeast vitamin, making it strong. Yeah, because I you know what I mean. I've been told how this shit works more times than I can count, but I never retain it. But I'm pretty I'm sure at, the the yeast is supposed to eat the sugar. I'm looking at the yeast nutrient right now. Uh, and that's all we're gonna do. Wrong. Stir that around. So this might come out like a Bailey's sort of deal. We'll see. Yeah. So it just that's just to like like help the yeast keep along. Mm. Okay. That you mixture know. is tasty. I licked it off the fork. I'm gonna fresh airlock. I wonder if it had to taste. I'm gonna taste. screw so this curious. on to our jar of goodness. Now we're gonna fill up the airlocks to those lines in the middle right there. Check right. this out, YouTube. We got the mead fermenting in the fridge with the airlock in there. It's got half a thing of water in there. That's where I'm at. I fill it up with the cap up there. So fucking calm Square back on there. Like, <laughs> facts not only will yeast not ferment when refrigerated, if your temperature is too cold, you might find your fermenting process stops. Oh, oh boy. Look at that. Chocolate egg. What a fucking mead. surprise, right? And oh, that then was nice. after this, I believe, as somebody informed him that it wasn't going to, like, turn into meat or whatever properly. So, yes, there's that. So, we also have his uh, return to YouTube as mm -hmm. done. Oh, actually, before that, we do have a video of him kind of seizing up, and I'd like to get people's input here. Which is very scary. So, like, so, basically, um, if you don't mind, yeah. um, after he found out that he cannot actually make eggnog, chocolate milk mead um he just kind of started fucking drinking it um like on a, a on a separate video a couple days later yeah and in it i just i don't even know i'm so fucking upset by it like like that that's that's pulling back to um i think john bacon's comment that it's like enough sugar for like two and a half days it's it's absolutely fucking disgusting yeah it's yeah. just really yeah. really really fucking gross yeah and then so. he said too he said it still has a bite Come on. Oh, God, of course it's got a fucking bite. That's what he wants. <laughs> I'm sorry, please. So this is a video. Uh, we saw this one on the Reddit. It was just named What the Fuck Was That? You guys will see the little issue here. TV is now on. And let's max this out. Then I was going to stack this 
sandwich. Oh. So, chat, what do you think this was? Because he just totally seizes up here. He has like a trimmer. Sandwich. You guys think that's the the alcohol uh, damage that the alcohol's done? Do you think it's maybe his teeth were hurting, or maybe it's done damage to his his body in some way that's fucking with his nerves? Maybe. Maybe it's the ghost of Puff <laughs> coming back to get him. <laughs> or, and, another thing, uh, like, Prime Evil yeah, said it. Yeah. Duster. That could be a remnant of what the duster is doing to him. Honestly, my money is on alcohol withdrawal and duster. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think. Because you mentioned, like, I think we talked about this before stream. You mentioned this looks like, like, like nerve damage, basically, right? Like, yeah, maybe. I'm like, I'm not a doctor, but that, that's what it looks like to me. Of course, of course, of course. But like, if the duster got to his brain and fucked him up, I really couldn't see like why, like, he wouldn't like be physically reacting like this. this he is got a bunch of bacteria damage. from kissing on Puff, and now he's <laughs> just stroking out. His teeth have rotten so bad; it's now like punching him in the brain. Oh. <laughs> but just that's pretty concerning like Sandwich. the next few years for jord are going to be some of the darkest yes we thought this, this it was going to be the spiral. worst this year this is nothing mm -hmm. no we are starting to see the long-term repercussions for his neglectful actions so this should be interesting to say it to put it lightly but we do have another video uh compiled by boglin chronicles again uh this mm -hmm. one is king cover jfs back on youtube after his little suspension, so let's see what he says. On Clovis, a uh, duster is like computer duster, like the shit. Yeah. People hop in to like get high. Compressed air. Yes. Hi. Plugman said his teeth look like the Twin Towers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for a minute, you? yeah. <laughs> I so think this is the video where he also media. has another, like, scene, but don't quote me. Okay. Just chilling out in parts. But I think he talks about Puff here, too. Unknown, doing my thing, thing. Enjoying my Thanksgiving vacation. Hope y'all have an amazing thing. I'm sorry to keep pausing it, guys, but Nash Zahn brought up a good point. He said, I love how Ozzy's in the background foreshadowing his health downward <laughs> spiral. <laughs> That's another thing, too. Asterisk, you're kind of getting what you wanted, because you told me, like, your, your dream scenario was that Puff and Ozzy would die on the same day. Well, Puff mm -hmm. is dead, but Ozzy is never going to do another in-person show again. Yeah, oh, his health yeah, is he's got to like a, a tumor or something in his back or something like that or whatever. I don't yeah. know. He's got but... money. He'll be okay. Oh, Thanksgiving. Man. Dolly Parton did the super or the halftime show for the Dallas Cowboys. Mm -hmm. Okay. And she dressed up like a. Uh... Uh, hey, Jab, I see you're super there. You you want a survival tip? Uh, go and sit on one of their motorcycles and take a photo of yourself. <laughs> Bikers love it when you sit on their bikes. They yeah, love that shit. And then, like, knock them all over, like, on accident. They'll understand. Yeah, have them fall over like dominoes. Yeah. Like, whoop, that was an accident! And then slide over the hood of your car and drunkenly drive out of there. <laughs> wow. Well, in the Stone Age... Uh, cheerleader, basically. And, uh... Well, a lot Dolly. of people are getting really mad at Dolly Parton saying, and I quote, she needs to dress her age. And I'm like, who flipping cares, dude? <laughs> who flipping cares? I'm amazed at, at, at the you things know, you can get mad at, you know? Before I get into my little deal here, I want to say... You know, while he was on vacation, he was bitching about this shit to anybody who would listen. Mm-hmm. Hey, this, YouTube... Bodies come sure in all shapes and sizes, back. and there ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay? There ain't nothing wrong with that. The second thing I'm going to say is if Dolly Parton was like 900 pounds overweight and dressed like that on stage, she would have been celebrated. Oh, I see. Yeah. No, people would have called her a fat cow and laughed at her. That's what happens anyways. <laughs> For all the people that are pro body positivity, you probably got double the amount of people laughing at him for being overweight. Ass Queen Slay. People are like, oh, Dolly Parton used to dress like her age. Oh, and it's like, yeah. piss off. People are so judgmental. I'm just over it. He's been cranking his meat to Dolly. That's going to be his honey one day, Asterix. His of oh, age I honey. Believe it. Mm -mm -mm. His grandma, honey. I okay. Oh, I'm seeing a whole turkey thing. 
What? Like him, like uh, he gave Cobra like a hundred bucks. Oh apparently. yeah, Turkey Tom gave him a hundred bucks. That Turkey yeah. Tom's gonna make a video on it. He's I have already, no idea what like, the quality is gonna be. I've heard like, and then this is over the grapevine. I've heard he's been like kind of taking down comments about anything negative towards it. Um, asking about contacting him over Twitter. I oh, mean, oh fuck, come on, man. If this Leave is a alone. Turkey Tom impersonator, I mean pretty good one but i think this is legit no, it's, it's it's legit from what i understand yeah. i mm-hmm. i'm not gonna fault the guy for making parasitic content i do the same thing but leave him the fuck alone you don't need to talk to him or give him every money. time yeah, don't give him money either come on i get By it these, I, I see where you think you're funny you've but gotta try come these on, youtube these Keep are some moves there's enough coverage of cobra as it is and if you're going to add anything to it don't do it by contacting him nobody yeah. likes a glass tapper not a sponsor. Peachy goodness. It just feels like I wonder like if the YouTube popularity of the Earth is a documentary is going to drive like more people to to talk about Cobra. You know what I mean? I don't think it did as good as the guy was hoping. No. I don't know. Uh, I mm. last time I checked, it had really unimpressive numbers for how much the guy was hyping it up. That's fair. But that and might the have changed. Just so full of hatred mm. and ickiness, you know. It's what it is. Anime Games uh, says that he doesn't think it was actually him. He lives in Canada, and that was American money the account gave. Maybe I don't. I don't know. These keyboard cowards. Oh, and Snake, um, <clears throat> Snake and Naked says, "What's the difference between that and you having Zach on stream?" Legit curious. Uh, I, I can see how you could argue that's the same, but I don't see Zach as a cow, personally. Mm-hmm. Like maybe he's a personal cow in a sense, but no. Uh, Zach is just a harmless little guy, and we were just kind of poking him with a stick and just getting him to say little silly shit, because he's going to say sh- silly shit regardless. The difference here is that Zach isn't a pedophile, uh, like Daniel. He's not a drunken, retarded idiot like Josh. Uh, he's not like Chris, who has been bullied over and over and over again and fucked his mom, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, Zach, for as far as I know, is just a pure little creature, and we were just having him on, just interacting with him. Now, you can see that as touching the poo if you want, but I don't think he's on the same level as a cow in my opinion if if i may insert something i and again i mean i i'm gonna be biased because i'm i'm part of the show but i feel personally that just because somebody is is silly online says stupid shit and possibly like either mentally deficient or not does not automatically make them a cow yeah exactly i i feel there's there's certain caveats you hit but that's just me you know you're not the first person to bring up zach as an example Mm -hmm. of me touching shit i had heard recently that somebody did a stream or something about it about Mm -hmm. me allegedly touching shit and uh i mean if you want to call it that call it that doesn't make it it though i just i I, as much for every little mean jab i'd make at zach i'd I'd say at least five ten more nice things about him he's a sweet little guy sure he gets mad at me or he gets mad at people on the internet but overall he's a harmless little guy and i enjoy interacting with him yeah and i'd probably have a body image for all the like and i'll be honest i mean some of the comments made me a bit uncomfortable like i had to speak to rogue about a a couple of things but he's still fun to to talk to and to hang out with and that's that's really it you know i like the guy and media arby's asking how i found him i found him on a website where I forget the name of it, but it was a website that would scour YouTube and find videos with default upload names. So like vid underscore date or dates this and dot mov, you know what I mean? Like file extensions and name uh, name conformities. And mm-hmm. I happened to keep stumbling on Zach's videos because they would have default upload names and just found him by chance. Yeah. Issues uh, and or Snake, confidence Snake and Naked said he, he doesn't mean or wish uh, they look like that at having Zach on was touching this shit. He, he wants to know where you're just talking through Mac. the lock, yeah. you know? Personally, yeah, There's which is fair. You can do about it because it's not a bad question. That's our to ask. society for you. If it's Anyways, back to this regard. Oh yeah, <laughs> like I said, you gotta celebrate all body types. What it comes down to is people are just mad because Dolly Parton looks good for her age, you know, and all you can do is talk smack. Mm-hmm. Why does he care about Dolly Parton though? He's just got big titties. Oh, okay, that's fair. <laughs> time I'm Dolly Parton. In that case. I'm going to defend uh, Dolly, too. <laughs> Rage, I'm still going to dress the same way I dress. I went to her Dixie Stampede, and she didn't get naked, and that made me angry. But I'm sure her Dixie Stampede. <laughs> that was I quite the interesting show. I went to see the Dixie Stampede in Branson, Missouri once. Really? And they I don't know if they still do it anymore, but there used to be a northerner side and a southerner side. 
And what? they sat us on the, yes. And it would be like, they would be competing and doing like different rodeo games and shit, but there was a north side and a south side and they compete and they would bring you food and you'd have to eat it with your hands. It was a three course meal. It was fun, but uh, there was a lot of people, like, I remember being in line, and I'm like, all right, sir, you're gonna be in the, the you're gonna be in the southern section of the stadium? I was like, oh, fuck yeah! Cool! It's like, <laughs> and you know, I'm in, like I said, this is Missouri, something, it's like, ah, oh, I know why you wanted to be over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, I'm sure they probably don't do that anymore, but it was quite the show. Yes. What an adventure. I don't care. Oh, it looks good. It looks like Wilfred Brimley. <laughs> <laughs> Purple Peak says, damn, I was that close to Rogue at one point in my life. How far away? <laughs> oh, it's so scary. Don't say shit like that. <laughs> anyway, your thoughts you there, buddy? Jesus fucking oh, yeah. Christ. I'm He's... hoping y'all are having an awesome Thanksgiving. I hope he is. I still haven't found Puff yet. I'm looking for him. Uh, least worst case scenario, he'll yeah, come John out of burrowing. I don't what? know if it's in this pod. Oh, okay. Hibernation yeah. in the spring. Worst case scenario, I gotta replace him. Oh, it's so fucked up. You know, I've been a right emotional just a wreck without him, dude. I love. No, you haven't. You fucking liar. My mm -hmm. lizard and. No, you didn't. You know, I'm trying to be upbeat. When I'm around. It's your own fucking fault. You killed him, you fucking idiot. Exactly. You stupid fuck. You and your dad are some of the dumbest fuckers on the face of this fucking earth. My God family, damn. because they don't, they don't want to hear it, YouTube. They don't want to hear about Puff every five minutes. It's depressing. Here's a, here's a, here's a, here's a... But Protogen Jazz asks, why does everybody in Cope's family look the same? Fucking bog jeans. Because they're related. <laughs> Here's the thing, oh. YouTube. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this to you, but families tend to look <laughs> similar. If you don't like something, don't watch it. You know? Yeah, he, he really does seem so heartbroken about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, if you were puffy, really you heartbroken know. about it, you would say, you know what? I'm not fit to own an animal or care yeah. for an animal. The best way to honor Puff is to never harm another animal in the same way again, and I will never have an animal. He wouldn't already be making plans to get another one, or, like, talk about the concept of having a pet. Right. Come on. Yeah, he's a bit of a fucking liar. Mm. But, Asterix, it is that time. Do oh. you... Uh, so, how do those videos do as far as screening goes? <sighs> the King Asterber one is funny. But there's just a bit too much cock grabbing. Um, there is one where like he's got his legs spread. There's a bit too much bulge. It's it's just over the line, unfortunately. Okay. What about this Berry Boy versus Democracy one? It's very funny. Okay. Uh, the Everything same on toilet fine. tissue. I believe I've seen this one before. Also very funny. So no King Ass Ripper. The Scooby Doo one is fine. Yes. Ooh, should I show Chat that fucking uh that fucking mystery machine I saw on the road? You should. Okay, uh, Asterisk, I'm going to... How can I get this on here? Uh, I can get it. Yeah, can you go grab it real quick? And then send yes, it my way? Thank you. I, but yeah, I, I, I can still be here to do that. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I was on the road the other day. Uh, interstate. Fucking middle of Missouri. And then I see this green and blue van behind me. And I'm looking. And it's like, that... Those colors look familiar. And then it like, mm -hmm. it gets from behind me, goes into the left lane and it starts to try to pass me. And then as I see the side of it, I see little blotches of orange. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute here. <laughs> I know where that's at or if that's at, I know what that is. And I was so excited when I saw this, I had to, to send it to people. This was the coolest mm -hmm. thing, but. Let me see if I can just throw it on the stream doc as like an image. If you just send it on discord, I can open it up in the browser. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> he shut makes up. things complicated. He told me to shut up, guys. Hey, guys, when she comes back, should I just mute her mic? I think that'd make for a very good stream. Uh, they said, was it a 1960 Chevrolet van? No, it appeared to be like a late 90s, early 2000s, either a Chevy or a Ford, like, um, utility van in the Kana line, something like that. And it was kind of a shitty paint job, but it made me happy. You guys want me to be... Oh, they wanted me to mute your mic, Asterisk. That'd be mean. Fuck you. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Damn, that's <laughs> I'd not nice. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, there it is. There it is. So let me pull this up <laughs> on stream. 
It's uh, now on stream. I was just driving, and then I see the cracked out mystery machine <laughs> where oh, they they used a, a rattle can. It looks like, but they were uh, they were trying. Mm-hmm. Anything by that it looks like it's probably a board. But yeah, <laughs> there you go. I, I just had to share that. It was exciting to see in the middle of fucking Missouri, mm-hmm. and uh, I was having fun funny. there. Yeah. Uh, so I I hope they solved whatever mystery they were going to solve. I can't imagine it was much of anything good being in Missouri, but oh well. Yeah, cross the border to so, smoke smoke weed or something, you know. God, me. <laughs> so <laughs> this is Shaggy learns about abortion. Gee, Scoop, I really like going to all these theme parks. The laughing children is so amazing. Sorry, Reggie, but I don't get to make it What are you trying to say, Scoop? Are you being really dark because of, like, you know, miscarriages? Uh-uh, Reggie. It's called abortion. It's when I love they said abortion so clearly. Scooby-Doo, pal, come on! Say psych! Say psych, Scoop! Wow, this is so fucking... Uh-uh, Reggie. This is emotionally, a emotionally real... Yeah, this is emotionally <laughs> driven, Astrid. <laughs> you know, I'll die on this hill. I enjoyed the live-action Scooby-Doo films. I did, too. I Which did, Which one too. was better, first or two? I watched them when I was younger. I can't I can't give you an answer. Mm. I think I watched which one was the one where they went to the island? That was the first one. I watched that one more than the second one. That's fair. But I would have to watch them now and give you an opinion later. The second you know one's I mean? a better children's movie for the most part, I'd mm-hmm. say. Mm-hmm. But uh the the second one had Linda Card- Card- uh, Cardellini farting and uh I, that's kind of funny. So uh <laughs> that's obviously a better film. Oh yeah, it's funny. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Calm yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many kids do you think they sacrificed on the set of Scooby Doo 2? Oh, fuck me. All of them. Enough to make like a perimeter around the fucking studio. <laughs> Scoob and hand me those scissors and blue danger. <laughs> My hair, Scoob. Scoob, hand me that metal box under Fred's chair. Scooby Doo, hand it now. Here you go, oh, Reggie. no. Uh, uh, Reggie, what are you doing with that gun? Wait in the van, Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scoob, I'll be fine. <laughs> huh, so this is a clinic. Just here to use the bathroom. Sir, may I help you? <laughs> Ate too many Scooby snacks. Just looking for the restroom, man. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, Scooby-Doo. Murder! <laughs> Damn. Zoinks. <laughs> okay. Uh... So I'm going to assume that was a deleted scene from the second movie because they weren't on an island. <laughs> this one is Barry Boy versus Democracy. Okay, viewers, it's time to decide. Okay. Life or death for Barry Boy. Death. Death. <laughs> Life. Death. <laughs> well, Fuck that you Barry. heard him. The viewers have spoken. Mm. But what should we do with him? Kill him. Well, okay. <laughs> Why are you taking me? Why I like the uh, the background music. <laughs> Why is that, Rogue? That is the uh, oh uh, Smash the Targets music from Smash 64. You're ridiculous. Yep. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that background is is the but background. What music. should we do with them? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. Why, why are you taking me? So it looks it looks like it's about telling me that like something is coming to the video DVD or whatever, you know? Yeah. Oh, Kill him. Oh, yeah. Oh my fucking Rest god. In peace, Barry boy. The world didn't deserve you. That's what he had coming. I love the death girl. <laughs> Good. Oh, that's what he had no. fucking coming. Oh shit. <laughs> Terrible dog says I I hated break the targets. Yeah, break the targets and then the first smash was a fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> Damn. Okay, what is the next one? Oh, this is this should be good. How to save on mm-hmm. toilet tissue. Um, I want to show everybody the proper way on save on your toilet tissue. Can Please you do. Can you see me, Chanel? Yeah. Okay, if your to- toilet tissue get down this low, okay, you don't have any more, what you do, you take one of these. Uh-huh. Now, this is going to help you save on your toilet tissue bill. You turn around and you fold it one time, you fold it two times, okay. mm-hmm. then you fold it a third time. Okay, okay. okay. Then you see this little tip right here? Mm-hmm. You tear that off. If you're sitting on a stool, you put it beside the stool. <laughs> Once stool. you get done, 
Yeah. Taking a shit or pissing, you put your uh, finger in there, you wipe your ass. Okay? Oh my god. Then you take this and you wipe all this off of your hand. You're fucking with me. Okay, all that shit. Okay. Then you take this, you put it in the stove and flush it. But this right here, the one I told you to save the little tip. Yeah, that little tip, you yeah. Clean all that shit out your fingernail. Oh. What the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> You're either being serious or you just had a genius idea. That guy's going to try it. Oh, my fucking God. I wonder if that guy, that, that gay guy that shows his dick and balls on YouTube would try it. I bet he would, but he wouldn't have any toilet paper. No, he's just like, hey, guys, I'm gay. I'm going to finger I'm my ass. My shit. Here's my butthole and here's, here's my cock and, and my dirty my ass. Here's me shitting. Lol, I camera. really can't believe YouTube allows him to show his fucking asshole. And his fuck multiple times and his fucking cock and balls. You Don't can't forget. tell me that guy doesn't get off to showing his butthole on YouTube. There's, well, I'm this pretty, guy too. Uh, be nice, to super weapons. I'm I, I'm certain he has like an OnlyFans or something that he's just using this to advertise with. But that is fucking bullshit. Honest to God. God, yeah. What was the name of that fucking guy's channel? Uh, stupid fuck it. I show my asshole. Yeah, that, that's an <laughs> asshole guy. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up on on YouTube right now and see if something comes up. Ugh. Uh, so this is a let's see super weapons. This guy always has insightful shit to say. Lightning mm -hmm. strikes reaction. Wow. This is probably the loudest. Like his name was guy. Kevin Leonardo. I that looked guy. up Asian asshole guy. And you see his butt. <laughs> uh. I'm yeah, yeah. Tyler Weisner it. said it was Kevin Leonardo as well. But yeah, okay. if you want to just go see a, a gay man's asshole and dick and balls and shit on YouTube, just go to his channel. YouTube mm -hmm. lets him fucking upload it. Whatever here. So let's take a look at this video here. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is pretty loud, as you can see. <laughs> it. It's like so loud. It's like, wow. That is so cool. This is probably... Wisdom. He makes a lot of really good content. I like this guy. I love Super Weapons a lot. He's very funny. He's got his life figured out, and for, for that, you know, I'm, I am admiring him. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. wish I had half a half as cool of a life as he has. He's got it all figured out, Astrid. Oh, fuck, same. God damn. But it is that time I need to read some supers. So... Whoa. That was too loud. Sorry, guys. Let me see here. Where was it at? Oh, okay. So we got one coming in from Ouija Silverstar for 666 saying, Hey, Goyam. What do you want for Hanukkah? I need to get a shopping list together. I don't practice Hanukkah. I'm more of a Christmas guy myself, but all I want for Christmas is for you guys to uh, be uh, kind to each other and your families. Or don't. I oh. really don't care. Oh. It, if nothing else, if something interesting happens, be sure to let me know. Brazine the Infinite sent in $2 saying, Bogmas approaches. Are you on the nice list, Tubes? Ah, uh, no. Unfortunately, I'm... Uh, I'm one of those pathetic trolls that Cobra rules, so he's not going to let me have a cool Christmas. Star and Speculation sent in $5 saying, Want to trigger Rogue's car nerd and fight response? In your best weave voice, call him Nissan Rogue. Fuck you, you ass <laughs> fucker. Ass fucker. Stranger Bob sent in one ninety nine saying, British people are goofy. Well, yeah, you know, you're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong on that one. Cactus Goat sent in $5 saying, Waiting for the meat homunculus to start moving on its own. B-movie type monster shit. I know, right? It looked like it was ready to move and maybe take the skin off that guy's hand. Uh, Ultimate Gamer 3000 sent in $5 saying, Every time I hear the word asterisk, I, al or asterisk, I always think of that one uh, shit anime called Asterisk War. It's funny because it's bad, like how, uh, how uh, Rat R-A-G here is bad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Raj? Raj, you're an Raj? asshole. Yeah, fuck you, Raj. Oh, Raj. Shithead. Yeah, destroyer of shed <laughs> sent in $5 saying, remember when the government classified pizza as a vegetable? What? That sounds familiar, but where was that? That I'm Should... looking it up. Pizza's a vegetable, Astrid. <laughs> Martin Sands sent in four ninety nine saying, hey, Rogan Goat, usually I watch y'all channel to stop my depression, but not tonight. I asked the question, and now I'm in a relationship and happy. Well, Martin Sands, that is fantastic. I hope things keep looking up for you, man. Oh, where did it jump to? Um, 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 um V, send in $2 saying, you don't like berries, Rogue? No, I love berries. I just, I refuse to believe that other fruits are berries. You won't ever convince me that an olive is a berry. I'll fucking fight you over that. Skeletor sent in, uh, oh, they became a member. Good shit. Periodically correct. Sent in 199 saying, Law Cow's blacksmithing legendary cursed items. Oh, yes, that's what Cobes does with his fucking, uh, his wands. 
the Ruby Fox uh, didn't. What's up? Apparently, back in 2011, there was um, conflict over Congress deciding that the tomato sauce on pizza is enough to classify it as a vegetable to schools. They are fucking stupid. I swear to God, our <laughs> government is some of the dumbest motherfucking slack jawed idiots ever. I know. Jesus I know. Christ. The Ruby Fox sent in $25 saying, Hey, Rogan Goat, just got dumped after seven and a half year long relationship and it's been rough. Can I get some words of advice from my two favorite internet hooligans? Well, Ruby Fox, everything eventually does come to an end. And yes, that is the unfortunate thing. However, in between the beginning and end of something, there is the gap of presence. It may not be, it's not just your presence, but it's also the presence of another person. And for that, even if there were problems, you can at least appreciate the good times. And like I said, everything will come to an end, so the memories are important. So, what's that whole thing? Don't be sad that it's over. Be happy because it happened. That mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't, it's not going to make the pain go away, but the pain will fade. And eventually everything will fall back into place, as that's life. But when something new begins, and to the point where something may end, enjoy the moments between. Those are the important mm -hmm. ones. Have some ice cream and take a bubble bath, buddy. That too. Yeah. Go take a good shit. Rick Zilla sent in two dollars <laughs> saying there's a cow house like two miles that way. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Ted Oops. Comet, the Moomoos. Ted Comet sent in uh, two dollars saying, quick question, do you find upload time affects views? Um, uh, To some degree, like there is YouTube from what I've gathered seems to really push longer content. And if you get make something good, of course, people are going to watch it more. What you really want is retention. The longer the video, the more retention you might have. But that video needs to be exciting or engaging. So it's, it's a double-edged sword. It's really about do you want quick views? Or are you trying to make something that's going to be a long-standing video that's going to accrue views? Because some of the stuff I put on, like the, the high pitch Eric thing, it's only gotten like just under 20,000 views. It's not going to be like a, a great one like Pamper Chew was for me. But you have to just make... You have to fill in the gaps. But longer form content for me, has always done better for the most part. It just, it really depends on what your audience is looking for. Because I think that YouTube seems to heavily cater your algorithmic push based off of the niche you put yourself in, plus the type of content you put out, whether it be shorts or short videos or long form videos, live streams, everything seems to be pushed differently. Uh, Victor Hugo Martinez sent in $5 saying, what exactly were you uh, going to say from the two videos I recommended to a VTuber before the interruption? I don't remember. What? I don't know. Beats me. I must uh -oh. have been. I was must have uh, said a bad word or something. Uh oh. I hope I did. Uh, -oh. uh what's the next one? Okay, man. Sent in four ninety nine saying sorry for the gunshots, man. Beat jumped me trying to steal my phone. He scampered away after I fired. Be safe, guys. Well, it's okay. I, I hope Beat's okay too. Sleepy Auto sent in five dollars saying what's red, green, and white all over? A Christmas with Chris Benoit. That being said, I know it's early, <laughs> but I hope you and Goat have a happy holiday. Well, hey, you do the same, brother. Good shit. Diet Pepthy, wonderful name, sent in $2 saying drunk guy tries to fight his fridge and loses. Huh, man, I, what an awful battle to fucking lose, man. Mr. Waifu Taker sent in $5 Canadian saying, I know I'm late, but I was watching Smoking Kiwi's Long Cow Awards. Bowser won the most villainous predator and rookie of the year. What a turbo PDF. Well, congratulations, White Bowser, on winning a, a fictional award on the internet. There is no other prestigious award quite as good. The Rat King sent in $50 saying, speaking on Josh, if I had, uh, if I, I'm sorry, if one had a kid that they knew couldn't, they couldn't raise properly, at least from an age where they couldn't remember, it'd be arguably more merciful to all parties involved to just send them to an adoption agency or a church. Yeah, I would agree. Mm -hmm. Cobes needed a, a family that was better equipped for dealing with someone like him. All things considered. Victor Hugo Martinez sent in $2 saying nothing Cobes makes is me. Jesus. Yeah, it's a bog slop is the best term for it. Poisonous bog slop. AJ Nelson sent in $20 saying follow up from my other super chat. Uh, my brother snorted orange Gatorade powder on both occasions. In his words, uh, he went from the standing position to the fetal position in half a second. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, that's is one okay? way to really energize yourself. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh. Ted Comments and in two dollars saying, "Who are your uh, top three uh, favorite uh, female lol cows?" I don't have one. Uh, I don't really look at femoid lol cows all that much. I don't think I've ever done a video on a, a female lol cow unless you count like a little lunchbox to some degree. I mean, I don't know. That's really hard. I mean, I, the only the only like cowish women I can think of are Fatties. lunchbox fatties, uh, K to some extent, but I don't really consider her a cow. You know, I mean. 
She's Just my vote. Going. If she counts as a cow, she's got my vote as number okay, one. Okay. But I don't know top three. I, I need to look at more female cows. Yeah. I'm sure there's a whole big demographic that I'm just not seeing. Mm -hmm. Jab Weed sent in twenty dollars saying, "Rogue, I'm at a bar that is currently occupied by a biker king and too drunk to drive. Got any survival tips? Well, like I told you, you need to take a photo of yourself sitting on their on their bike. And Astro told you to knock over the bikes. I hope you did it, and I hope it went well for you. If not, um, well, you tried. Victor Hugo Martinez sent in two dollars saying, "From the looks of it, a 2000s GM van for sure. Yep, yep, that's what it's got to be. I couldn't see the the fucking." I'm sorry, the uh, the badge. I couldn't see the branding on it. Like, I've, I've worked with vehicles, but I'm certainly not a master. Uh, Nash Zom sent in $2 saying, for the love, please, for the love of God, don't come to Nebraska. Don't tell me what to do. I might be there soon. Victor Hugo Martinez sent in $2 saying, I'd rather just get a bidet. That too, I mean, you could, but he had a really interesting way for wiping your ass. It would save you money, technically. And Declan Renault sent in $4.99 saying, any plans to make a Cyrex video? Now, I've, I've gotten this question a lot. And people would really like it. And Cyrax, honestly, doesn't interest me all that much. However, I'd be willing to make an exception, of course, if people would really want that. The issue I'm having here is Cyrax has so much to go over. All cows usually have a long history to sift through, but Cyrax has so much. And I would want to make sure that I get it as close to as accurate as possible. And that likely would not just be a work that I could do on my own. Uh, another thing to factor in too is not saying that all of them are this way, but a lot of people that orbit Cyrax or, or like um, fucking fuck with them, you know what I mean? They're they're pretty protective of their cow, and mm -hmm. I'm I don't want to misrepresent what they do or misrepresent what has happened with Chance Cyrax, whatever, and they get upset and that it's a whole ordeal. You know what I mean? I would if I were to do a Cyrax video. I would really want to knock it out of the park and get it as accurate as I could because there's just there's already so much Cyrex content out there. I would have to bring something new to the table, if that makes any sense. But I digress. What's Chad saying here? I need some icon as well. Amanda Turkle. Church of Gale. Tur oh, was brought oh, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah Church yeah. of Gale. Oh, that, yeah. Okay, I take yeah, that back. Yeah, Church yeah. of Gale's up there too. She's pretty funny. I mm -hmm, totally forgot mm -hmm. about her. We need to look at her again. Have we I'll shown her to down. pro? I think. If we have them, that'd be somebody to show to pro. Mm-hmm. Damn. Anyways, guys, of course, thank you for all the super chats. They're always very much appreciated. But, man, we've been going for about 2 hours, 26 minutes, and 46 seconds. At least that's what YouTube's telling me. They might be lying to me again, those fucking glowy right bastards. I know, right? <laughs> but, shit, um. guys, I hope you enjoyed this stream. I certainly had a good time. It was a nice, smooth, calm stream. It wasn't anything super exciting, but it doesn't always have to be. I enjoy the calmer streams from time to time. And you know what, Asterix? You came on, and you did what you usually do. And you know what? You did it well enough, and for that, I thank you. You did. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, yeah? And I... <laughs> oh, shit. And Sleepy Honest and Occupy After Dark? Well, yes, Occupy After Dark. Can we get some hashtag Occupy After Darks here? And then Victor Hugo Martinez and then $2 sing. See y'all next week, my Grimmers. Well, we'll see you then. And we got one more membership coming in from Bodacious. That's most definitely what the fuck is up, Tubes. Again, guys, thank you to everybody who became a member. Thank you to everybody who sent in super chats. And thank you to you, the end viewer, for sitting and enduring this stream. I hope it was worth it. No, I can't make any promises. Uh, this week, this coming Friday, I will have a new video out. It's about 30 so minutes long about the story of Clyde Cash. We're going to end the year with a bang, and I may have one more video coming out this month, but we'll see. But Clyde is going to be the big video this month. I hope you guys will have fun with it. It's very much in the same vein as the Bob and Barb video. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a, a lot of information on Clyde, and there's also not a lot, if that makes a lot of sense. There's not a lot on the whole Clyde character or persona, as much as there is his legacy and what he left behind. So that's mostly what we have to go over. But I think it's still a fantastic video nonetheless, and still plenty of funny shit to look into. And uh, another green text reading is in development on Hackman, which has been requested many, many times over. Uh, I'll probably do another quickie reading in the coming months. Uh, I'm going to be starting work on a new Stern-related video on the legacy of Elegant Elliot Offen, likely sometime within the coming weeks that'll begin development, etc., etc. Plus, I want to talk about more cows. 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 And, uh, <laughs> cows. Asterisk. Talk about more cows. And, uh, yeah. Uh, as for cows, like I said, I'm Cyrax, I'd want to get done perfectly, but I think if I'm going to do an, an, the next cow video, and don't don't hold me to this just yet, I want to really iron this out, I would really like to do a video on Daniel. 
now that I've watched him for long enough, I would like to, to give my piece on it and do a proper video on it, rather than just a stream of me going, hi, hit himself in the head. So, you know. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I need to get out of here. Asterisk, I'm sure you need to go evacuate your bowels. I've got a pee pee. Yeah. So I'm going to end this stream, but I'm going to use a song made by uh, Black Brains and Club Doom. They did a, a song that is celebrating the collaboration of Smokey and our content and hopefully uh, Kiwi Tapes in the future, we have Too High After Dark. So, as always, guys, I've got more content coming down the pipeline. But until then, I'll see you degenerates next time. Listen, Brains, if, if you're going to have me say slugs never die, are you at least going to sample it and put it in something? Do something good with it, okay? That's all I want. Slugs never die. Slugs die. Never die. Never die. Never die. Just showing up, me and my slime, we should be on Nickelodeon. Me and my slime, we playing carnival, token up and taking shots at all these clowns. They ain't no joking, bro. Now open up, fans flirting ours like we're the Jonas's, like girls flying at this king of game, like they locusts, like Earl on that disco with them kids. They be showing love. Said, Fuck that PDF, you know the mafia exposing her. Huh? Goats smoking on that gas tank like ashtray. Our bars ripping holes in the atmosphere like plastic. They Go nuts when we switch it up. Yeah, we the spastics, the IRS, my biggest fans. Like, ayo, hey, how much cash you make? Every word, every bar, every 16. I treat as though I'm throwing hands like Android 16. I'm hitting up your cell notice. Are you listening? Go and look us up on Crosby and see us glistening. This whole vocal community, they'll they'll take that and they'll make some art out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Brains has got a lot of talent, man. He's really good with the music shit. I saw where the, he, and, yeah. uh, he and uh, Doom did an EP about uh, Cobes. Yes, yes. <laughs> it was great, 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 great,